What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a very special kind of funny podcast here for GDC. This is an extra one, Snowbike Mike. An extra one, Nick. Because Greg and Tim did a one-on-one on Ghostbusters. But we've got a tremendous amount of people coming through the studio today. Yep. And we just thought, let's sit on the couch in the lab. Let's pull out the bucket of topics and let's just hang out with the people all day long pockets. as they come in. Yes. I hate the bucket of topics. Everybody loves the bucket of topics. I, it yeah, it's like in me. the movie, you got to put your hand in the box. Mm-hmm. And you got to yeah. believe in what's inside the box. You don't know what's in the box, but so you got to believe there could be some topics. Time, huh? There could be some yeah. hard candies in there. I'm not <laughs> sure. Of course, uh, we have a bunch of guests coming through. But the first two here, I'm very excited about. Mr. Ben Starr. Hello, Mr. Abu Salim. How are you guys doing today? Very, very well, actually. How yeah. was Games Daily? You did the you did the, you did the, the hard show first. Yeah, yeah, no, it was great fun. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it. I had, Again, as I said, like it's just friends talking about video games and right. the news of it all. So it, it's easy, man. It's like really, really good fun. Yeah. It's nice to change to enemies talking about video games. No, like, uh, yeah, it's 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 cool to be here. Like, I I came here just uh, under a year ago. It was the last time I was here, and it's just cool to see how you've the studio's changed and see you guys. Well, we again. cleaned it a little for you. You did <laughs> finally cleaned it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. back to full health. You know, I have to apologize to Ben Starr. The last time Ben was here, yeah, we were all gathered around one computer. Yeah. And I had to cough, and I didn't want to cough in Ben Starr's face, so I got up abruptly and ran out the ran out the room. Mm-hmm. Everyone <laughs> thought, "What the fuck was that, yeah. Mike?" And everybody worried, and they're like, "Oh man, he must hate Ben Starr." <laughs> I just didn't want to cough in his face. I had too much respect for him. That's real respect, man. I like I, res- I, I appreciate it. <laughs> a lot of people worried about it. Abu, I'm telling Damn, you, it was no, weird. Yeah, it was yeah. a weird move. Yeah, it was Mike very weird. Just coughs in my face whenever he wants. He does not <laughs> care at all. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of funny podcast. Hey, a couple housekeeping things before we get into the topics. Ghostbusters in review returns this Friday for Frozen Empire. I have not had a chance to talk to Greg about it, although I saw the pictures he took in New York, and he looked fantastic, and that's all that matters. Of course, if you love what we do, please support us in the, with a Kind of Funny membership on Patreon or YouTube to get all of our shows ad-free. Watch us live, and then get the daily exclusive show. Thank you to our Patreon producers, Carl Jacobs, Kashan Patel, Nathan Lamoth, Karen Lidner, uh, James Hastings, Casey Andrews, and of course, today's show is brought to you by Shady Rays and Robin Hood. We'll tell you about that a little bit later. Gentlemen, we can pull a topic, or we can just shoot the proverbial shit. What would you like to do? Do I you want you want to pull a topic out of the bucket? You want to play with the bucket first? Because I, I see you eyeballing yeah, this yeah, bucket. Yeah, yeah, That's all I want to do in the world. I do, so I do these stupid videos <laughs> online. Jesus Christ. I, saw, I do these stupid videos online. I think last week at like 2 a.m. I was in the middle of nowhere, and I um, decided to do a video about the June popcorn bucket, if he mm-hmm. can speak. And he just <gasps> wanted, um, it's very weird. Um, if you want to watch it, go on my Twitter. But I've wanted to see one of these in person because they we don't have them in the UK. No, oh, no. you guys didn't get this cool, no, not cool, terrible gimmick. So like irresponsibly, the first thing I did with it is just shove my hand straight in to see how it felt. Yes. And it feels as weird as you would expect it to feel. Boo, just shove your hand in that. I think it feels nice. Right. It's not oh, nice. Yeah, get all the way in. Oh, really? Now imagine you're trying to get popcorn out of that. That is no, man. This is like, <laughs> that's weird. Why would you do that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but I love it. And I really appreciate the internet for bringing it to my attention. It's it's one of those things where I'm not, I love Dune. I went there, I go with my wife. And I've seen the popcorn bucket pop up on TikTok. I've seen it pop up on, on Twitter, all these places. I'm like, you know what? I do love popcorn. And this will be a hilarious Instagram post. So I get it. And the, the first thing the guy says to me, is he goes, oh, you're getting the fuck bucket. What? <laughs> he had to take it there. An employee said this. An what? employee of AMC Cinemas, we're not going to tell and say his name, but he said it in front That's of some of his boy. other employees and my wife. And I was like, um, I'm getting the popcorn bucket is what I'm getting. And he's like, <laughs> sure. Now, my wife already thinks I'm weird because I'm me and I work with these clowns. So the fact that I brought this bucket home was a whole vibe for her. But the, then the guy goes, do you want the popcorn in the bucket or do you want to keep it clean? And I'm like, why would I want to keep it clean? I don't want to keep it clean. You I like want covered in mucus. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I was like, I don't want any of this stuff. So I put the popcorn in, and then five minutes into the movie, I'm like, this is arguably the worst popcorn dispenser. Of course it is. Look ever. at it. It's yeah. like hard to get your hand in. You put your hand in, you grab a handful, and as you pull your hand out of it, you have to narrow your hand. Yeah, it's stupid. Out. You get one kernel every single time. It's not good. Unbelievable. Did you guys watch Dune Two? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What I haven't. Think? I really want to though. I saw a press screening of it. And I was like, I felt really fortunate. I watched it in this incredible cinema in Leicester Square um, called The Empire. And Everything have... you say sounds cool. I just want you to know that. Thank you so much. That... Do you want me to say some weird stuff? Just see if we can yeah. Say some... yeah, yeah. Can we say yep. some weird shit? Yeah, just like I don't know. <laughs> Put it into random. I don't know. I'm I'm, 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 do, I'm not just talk about come the up fuck with bucket. Weird... <laughs> um, um, I love me a fuck bucket. 
Um, I mean, it sounds cool. No, yeah. I don't like both it. of you have too great far. voices. We went too yeah. far, guys. <laughs> Abu's voice is very, very cool. I love me a fuck book. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> We're doing it, <laughs> Mike. You say it now. I have regrets. I love me that fuck bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's also for audio listeners, if you're, if you're wondering why this sounds differently, we're doing this in the lab, and instead of sitting on the chairs, we all just decided to cram into the couch. Yeah. <laughs> so there's four of us yeah, on a couch did. that's we, easily we, designed for three people. We left one spot open. We pulled a chair so that yeah. we didn't have to put four, but like, y'all yeah, came in here with an energy, vibe. and I love yeah, it. We love it, man. This is it. Excellent. This is, couch. this is a much better vibe. So you guys are here for GDC, right? Yes. Yeah. How has it been so far? Um, I really enjoyed it. This is my first, it's your first time too, isn't it? Yes. Right? Yeah, it's my first time and it's been great. I think the one thing I've said, like, you know, I'm here to kind of show the game and, and kind of talk about the game and uh, Tales of Kanzara Zao and it's been really, really lovely. Reception's been really, really lovely. Yeah, it's it's good. Good atmosphere, good energy, man. It's it's just, uh, it, it's one of those ones where actually it reminds you that the games industry is beautiful, man. Right. Like, you forgot are, for a while. Like, there. you forget for yeah. a while, but like, the people in it, the people who are making this stuff, like, the, the ones on the ground, mm -hmm. they're, they're beautiful human beings. They care, they love it, and they enjoy it. And it's always nice to just put, you know, names to faces as well. Like, online's different, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, online's so different. Whereas here, like, when you're seeing people and working with people, it's, it's beautiful. Are you trying to say that you, the majority of your experiences interacting with people online haven't been beautiful and positive? I mean, it's it's... It's been it's been interesting. Mixed bag. It's been, it's been one of them <laughs> yeah, once. You no, know, yeah. you know, you know what? No, there's there's been a lot of love online, definitely, and I think like that's that's definitely true. You know, again, the, the beauty of, of gaming and in the community is that the community are vocal and they're, and they and they're great, but there's also an ugly side to that, right? But at the same time, um, you know, meeting other game devs and meeting other studios, people who are wanting to actually you know create cool pieces of work has been really lovely and really inspiring yeah you know and, and it's the human contact man it's like yes. we're all we're, we're social animals so being in a, in a in a convention where we all share the same love for something is is fantastic and phenomenal so yeah plus you know ben's here ben, ben is little, ben great. makes it great so, so great anyone who hasn't one. met me yet come and meet me because honestly it's a real experience um if you see <laughs> ben, <laughs> on the, if you see ben <laughs> on the street I can't, right, if, you haven't, if you haven't met me yet it's you are you, oh, it's so much fun for everyone um i find the internet to be fascinating because i have many parasocial relationships with people online mm -hmm. and i've made fast friends with lots of people and and i really love the people who engage with the stuff that i do and and like me being an idiot um which is really cool but i the idea of uh, conceiving what that is when it comes to actual human beings because i i know they're real people but it's it's a lot of numbers that i don't really understand so when i come to something like this and I see people who have genuinely been affected or appreciate or hate the work that I've done. It's cool. It means something more tangible. And that's what's great about it. And I also love it because Abu and I are massive fans of not just video games, but the culture around video games mm. and the people mm. who talk about it and the way that people talk about it. And I get to come here. You know, this this place, this where I listen to you guys every single day. Sorry about meet, that. I know it's a huge. Somehow thing. we became addictive to you, and it's there are support yeah. groups. Yeah, it's a curse, man. Going cold yeah. turkey is hard. It's hard. Um, but I, I yeah, I, it's 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 wicked, and I get to meet people who I who I work. I really respect. Last night I was at a. You know, I I was at a dinner and I got to meet Darren Corb for the first time. I got to meet like the, 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 um, Hades, Hades, uh, like um, Zagreus himself, and it was the coolest thing to get to like hang out with people that I think are really really awesome. So yeah, that's that's one of the things that's cool about being me is that everyone just <laughs> comes here. I don't go to the show floor. I don't go to the dinners. Right. I'm not going to the parties. Mm. I'm not going out past five. That's great, man. I, I'm like an old oh, dog. Not. That's okay. great. You take me for a little so bit cool. of a walk around during the daylight, and then I get to go home, and everyone just comes here. And that's what's cool about like a day like today and Monday. We had a bunch of devs come through, obviously. We did the, we co-sponsored the, the mix uh, or a showcase with the mix and had a bunch of people come through. So it was cool to feel that vibe again because we, we honestly haven't had that in a long time, right? right. We had the yeah. pandemic kind of put a bullet in that. Now everything's kind of ramping back up, yeah. and we get to see everyone again. And you forget, like, Mike, this is kind of your first big get-out-there 
yeah. eat people, right? You know, we did a GDC last year, but I didn't go to as many events right. as I have been uh, this year. And, of course, I'm going to PAX East tomorrow, so that will be a ton Ooh, of fun. Are you guys doing PAX at all? Mm, I am. Oh, you're doing the full uh, circuit. I wish I was. Oh. You can just go with Ben. I don't know. Maybe I could. You, you come with us. No, yeah, I'll come with you guys. We'll talk like about the game. Much. Yeah, let's You and do I it. hit the show floor. We'll just go talk about the game. Let's do it, man. 100%. I'll do that. I'm in Will it. you stop talking about this game, Abu? Uh, look. Oh, my God. I'm here. No, you're releasing a game. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> you're working you're working hard you're working hard this week oh man i've got you've got to man it's it's one of those ones where it's again it's just <laughs> you gotta try and do as much as you can for this because it's there's a lot of games out there guys. oh yeah you've, you've, there's like a lot of games you've been you've been absolutely incredible so i've known abu and i have known each other for a really long time we went to drama school together and and our kind of relationship is that we've kind of existed in this industry loving games and loving performing and then coming together and getting to do this is is an absolute treat but to see the way and we spoke about this in the car is mm. people want to see human beings who make games and the, f mm. the fact that you have in a very vulnerable way put you out put yourself out there as the the face of this game that means a lot to you the way you stood up on the game awards stage and, and spoke about this game it's humanized the game it's made people appreciate yeah. and at a time where people are being laid off left right and center and they do just become numbers it's really important that you see the people who make these games and make them because they love them not just because they want to make money um, and yeah, I'm, you are working hard. <laughs> what, what, now, what is that like doing something because you love it? Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, me and Mike are just shill. That was we a just beautiful want... speech, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is the kind of funny podcast. Speech, we're not on Gamescast right now, okay? We're not. We're not bringing that level of. You know, I don't want Greg getting up there uh, thanking yeah. Nicole or whatever the lady's name. But that's not what we're doing here, right? There's topics in here that are incendiary. There's three topics into this bucket that will end all of our careers. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, don't don't pull them. Right. Right. You better not pull it. I want to pull it. You want to pull one? Yeah, I want to end all of our careers right now. I do say, I do say that was that was those lovely sentiments, and I'm and I'm proud of you guys for getting out there. And honestly, I know it, it, marketing anything is very very hard, especially when you're marketing to idiots like me who have the attention span of a three year old. Right. Yes, you're I will play your game for the, five minutes. That's good, man. And then we'll talk about it to everyone. We'll because Fantastic. we love you. And then I'll probably five o'clock. That's my cutoff. I, I like that. Anything beyond that's fine. that, I, I, I'm just realizing you are my spirit animal. Am I? Uh, yeah, general. I mean, like, forty-four year old man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gray hair, <laughs> one bum knee, miserable and loving. Not miserable time. so much as just, just curmudgeon. Beautiful. Yeah. That's yeah, I. Yeah. I don't like yeah. what I don't like. Spirit animal. I don't that's like change. Oh, you don't like change? No, 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 no. That's There's pizza great. here now. I don't know what kind of pizza it is. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> if it's not the right kind of pizza, I don't like it. <laughs> I hear it's Costco pizza. Oh, oh wow. which we have not ordered for the office Boy, before. I didn't know you could just walk up to Costco, get 17 pizzas, come so you oh, just yeah. to the office with it. Oh yeah, you we can get find out together. Are you guys, you guys, are you guys familiar with the Costcos in America? Yeah, yeah, we're familiar with Costcos in, in, in the UK. UK yeah. We have you guys have yeah. Costcos. Do yeah, you have the one dollar and fifty cent pizza? hot dogs? No. We that we do have they do I mean Big I don't pieces. get them but we do have this food that people like. Yeah. This is a massive topic for okay. Americans. Okay. Because for the longest time the CEO of Costco and Kevin you're you're up to speed on this. You can correct sure. me if I'm wrong on these details. He's he's fighting with the board of directors for Costco because I, they want him to change the price of the one dollar and fifty cent. I believe hot dog. he told one of his board members if you change the price of the hot dogs I will kill you. Yeah, like I'm not wow. even not even kidding. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fucking murder you. <laughs> and it's and it's genius because this has been just for context. I remember when Costco's were new. There used to be like Costco's and Sam's Clubs and all these things. And then Costco just killed them all, and now it's just all Costco. That's the the warehouse bar, like ultra quantity bin warehouse stores, right? But for the longest time, ever since I was a kid, this all beef hot dog, wow. quarter pound, and it's a good hot dog too. This is no bullshit filler hot dog. This is a quarter pound. The size of your forearm hot dog, mm. and it's been a dollar fifty with this with the meal, right? Do you get the Coke too, Kevin? Uh, well, so this, I put in UK menu. Oh, this is you, oh that's why it's UK in there. That's a twenty-two ounce soda with refill for one dollar fifty. Wow. Yeah, twenty-two ounces. What could that mean? You know? And it's been like that. <laughs> no way to know. No, we don't know. We have. <laughs> no, it's been like that for years. Now, the only downside, of course, is that it's got Pepsi Max with it, which is just getting. Boo! Out of there. Go if you're back not a to Coke, Coke House, you're not, a, you're not a part of me. But, like, it's crazy to me that this guy's holding on to it. But it's genius, because this is why people go to the Costco. Mm -hmm. They go there for lunch. Greg and Tim yeah. went for lunch the other day. Yeah. It's, it's so funny. I do remember, you know, whenever we used to shop at Costco when I was a kid with my mom and dad, like, the food there was always, like, the thing that they loved the so much. It, it was, was just, it was, it was, it was something else, something different. So, I did not know this is a thing, but I, I have so much more respect for him to defend a one pound fifty. And now, hot. I mean, granted, we obviously don't condone condone him killing someone, no. but if he, but if killing someone means that we get to keep the dollar fifty hot dog, yeah. then I think 
Super important. You know, it's a loss leader. Fair trade. This is like people coming for the hot dog and then they're going to buy $300 worth of, I don't know, meat? Wax. Um, <laughs> wax. Um, I was going to say Cheerios. Yeah. It's, gonna, yeah. <laughs> it's always Cheerios the shit. And wax. We used to just buy, ba- like, I remember the, the thing we used to buy that I was like, for sure we don't need this, was the big crate of croissant, like croissant. Like, they would be what? just one base. Why are you saying oh, yeah. Yeah. Because they're from the UK, so Sorry, I have to say it like Oh, you got to put a little people. something on it. How would you they're say it? They're used to French. Yeah, how would you say it as an American? Croissant. Croissant. Mm. I well, like, got you there, Kevin. But, croissant. like, also say it. Say hey, don't, don't change it. Don't change yeah, for he's, us. He's dressing it up for you. and it's, You are. It's, I do, it feels very insincere. Yeah. Say be you. It's cute. Because he's never done this before. You are enough. Pretty amazing people come by. You both have incredible voices, and you're talented. So you make me nervous. Mm. That's what it is. Most of the time, I co-host things with Mike, yeah. and uh, I don't do that. <laughs> no, Mike doesn't. <laughs> I don't make him nervous. Mike doesn't make me nervous. <laughs> We've got someone saying Nick say Jaguar. It's thank you, thank you, got ladies it. and gentlemen. Ben, can you say that again for me? Jaguar. That's actually how he said it. That's how I say it. Saying it for years. And Kevin, because we say jag, Jaguar. No, Jaguar. That's you can't even remember. Jaguar. <laughs> jaguar. You just jaguar. say Jaguar. Um, we also but say it's Jaguar. We also say, you won't say this. We say Puma. Oh, I say Puma. I say Puma. Yeah, yeah, he does. As like a you joke. You Puma. I yes, Puma. Abu. I say, it, I say it the correct way, Abu. Puma? No. What do, what do you mean? No? Say that. Say that in a public space in England. Really? People will throw tomatoes at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> As we are wont to do in London. Tomatoes. It's wild because everywhere I go in London, you got to watch out for that wild tomato throwing. You know, yeah. it's a drive by. We have drive by shootings here. They have drive by tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. We have stocks that people yeah. go in and we just throw like old fruit and veg at people. Ew. Yeah. Burn the witch. Mm. Burn the witch. What do you think? Should we grab a topic? Or you have two incredible voice actors here. Maybe you can get them to say some iconic lines. That would be kind of cool. Oh, you got a couple iconic lines for him? I mean, I think Kevin can Google up some incredible. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. We okay, can, we can br- yeah, yeah. Okay, Kevin, can you Google? Wow. This is, like, this is, are you, are you guys down this? I am not a performing monkey. Yeah, we have, we have a phrase, which is a busman's holiday. And that's what this feels, feels like. <laughs> mm, yeah. What is a busman's holiday? A busman's, holi- <laughs> busman's holiday is the fact that a person who drives a bus, obviously their job is to drive a bus. And if they go on holiday, they have to drive the bus to get to the holiday and therefore they're still doing their job oh yeah. my god so it's called a bus God. holiday uh, you know if it makes you feel any better i'm a uh, a pretty terrible stand-up comedian and everyone every time people find that out they ask me to tell them a joke yeah yeah yeah. Oh, so right. what i do as i as i tell them the following joke what's a caterpillar afraid of dog a pillar that's yeah, solid that's <laughs> terrible no what it is because it's deliberately bad so yeah, yeah. so touched. that's basically me saying fuck off but in a very pg manner yeah just like you guys did to us just right now. Kevin, can you type in? <laughs> I want to know how they say this word because people in, in, in the mm. chat are asking that. I'm going to, here, I'll, I'll type it into my laptop here. Just so you have this. Hold on. I, I was like looking that. up some people. This is really great. How would you say that word? Oh, you know what it is. Oh. Oh. Porsche. Porsche. Really? Porsche. Yeah, we don't say Porsche. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, they're not right about everything. No. Wow. They can't be right about everything. You can't say Porsche, man. That's you can't Porsche. say Porsche. Yeah. We would get we would get judged for that. Yeah, that's even there, I know that. Yeah. And I say Puma. I that's really <laughs> upsetting. <laughs> but honestly, no, I have a huge I have a huge amount of respect for you as a person, but it's that's really upsetting. But shaking. <laughs> yeah. The Puma, the Puma thing? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Okay, you sorry, you say Puma. Well, I, listen, I don't, Where did you learn that? I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's 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 a curse. I feel like Jaguar is easy because when you watch a Jaguar commercial, not for the cats, for the cars themselves, right. they say a Jaguar. Yeah, they do. Jaguar. So whenever someone says, like, you know when you, you have to interview someone or you're talking to someone, you're like, I'm not sure how to say their name. You look up mm-hmm. them saying their own name. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. And you go, yeah. boom. Mm. Right? Yeah. People have been, haven't been saying my name right for years. It's Ben Sturr, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or if you just want to go, oh, this this is, won't be a fun topic, but I'll say it anyway. I came up on your wrist. What is this? Oh, this is from an event I went to last night, and I don't have scissors, so I can't get it off. Are you one of those people? I had a buddy named Charlie on yet, and he used to just constantly keep. No, them I on hate there them. I hate until they were disgusting. No, I really, really hate having these. Um, but I don't have any scissors in my hotel room, so I. And <laughs> don't thank, we get you scissors? I would. They'd be so. Uh, would make me feel a lot freer. Um, <laughs> but I, I, um, <laughs> I. Oh, I did a job uh, really early on in my career and I was sitting with one of the actors and we came up with this really stupid thing that people have like signatures, right? Mm-hmm. But they don't have verbal signatures, which is when you make a verbal, you know, do like a verbal agreement, we should, thank you, please set me free. Oh, you want Kevin to do it for you? He's like a surgeon with these things. 
Oh my God. Perfect. <laughs> um, so in the same way that you, a signature is essentially your name really fast written down, mm -hmm. you've got to say your full name, but really, really fast. And that's your verbal signature. So my name is Benjamin Mark Starr. So my verbal signature really fast would be so okay, okay. my yeah, verbal yeah, signature is <laughs> so if you had to have your verbal signature what would it be mike what would your verbal signature be your full name mike <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> good nailed really it good. it's really good <laughs> you got to think about it for a really second good. then you feel it <laughs> i feel i feel like okay let me try to channel that yeah, 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 and i would just it. be like nick Okay. I can't just do my first name. No, I'm but, trying to be like Cher. I just want people to think Nick. Okay. Do you want you do, <laughs> not is, Nickelodeon because that's the whole the different you vibe don't right now. You don't want to give away your middle name. I get that. So, oh, just, my middle name is Michael. So it'd be Nicholas Michael. One more time, Nicholas Michael. Three. Thank you. It's really good. Is that now you guys can sign all my tax documents with my verbal signature? Yeah, yeah. Great. Is this what you do when you guys audition for like voice roles? <laughs> yeah. Oh, put that on there. This, yeah, is this, how we, yeah. this is how we introduce ourselves. Yeah. You go, hello, my name is. My name is. Yeah. And um, I'm auditioning for the role of Swan One. Yeah. It works. Wow. It does work. Yeah. Well, I mean, it got you guys jobs. You're here. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty cool. Go on, yeah. Do yours. Right, I'm going to do mine. Whoa, that's so fast. That was good. That, that was, was real real good. And you, and you can hear it, right? You can yeah. hear them, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep. yep. It's really high as well, isn't it? It's, it's really high. It's like when you so. speed it up in, in a video track, it gets higher pitched. Yeah, yeah. well, there you go. Pretty incredible. Even Buster Rhymes would run for his money. Yeah. Wow, yours is really Thank good. You so yeah. Hit those consonants. Nick, do one again. Do it again for us. Okay. There's a video. You know what? I could hear it, though. I could, could hear, hear the it? Scarpino at the end. Yeah, I could yeah. hear it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Kevin hates this. <laughs> he, I, I he likes it when you guys do it, but he hates it when I do it. Kevin, can you do it? Do it for Kevin, us. Kevin, do it real quick. Well, no, I was also thinking Snowbike, uh, or Mike did Snowbike. Yeah, that's his, his yeah, yeah. official that's name. name. That's his official name? Yeah. Found the tax documents. <laughs> <laughs> when Mike goes to H&R Block, they call him Snowbike. I don't know if I can You got to think it. about it for a yeah, second. Yeah. You got to feel it. say, this is the dumbest bit in KF history. No, that's it's not. impressive. No, I'm we not. Did, to be a part we of did. A, we've done a lot of dumb bits. We've done some stupid. So, shit here. Kevin, is it just Kevin Coelho? That's you. Have a middle name? No, he's no got I've a got a middle name. name. What's your middle name? And last name. You have two middle names. No, no, I have a, I have a middle name. Yeah. And a second last name. Yeah. Kevin's got a hyphen. Latin. He's a hyphenate. I mean, not really. It's just there was some miscommunications with a birth certificate. Right. So, what would you want your verbal signature to be representative of? Would you want it to be Kevin Coelho? Uh, well, if, I mean, like, I don't. Can it like, be anything? Does it have to be your name? I don't like my middle name, so I usually just yeah. say A. A. Because I would love yeah. to do like oh. just the letter that right. it starts with, you know? Okay. Oh, no, uh, okay. Kevin A. Coelho. Okay. okay. Right. Kevin A. Coelho. Yeah. Kevin A. Coelho. There it is. Hey, wow. hey, I, got it. Hey, I'm out of uh, I feel like if it can be anything though, if I don't have to say it in the name, I would like it to be like a print sound effect. You know? Like ah like one of those that? things like wait, you, that's that's good. Good. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Can I do that? And they're yeah. like, Oh, this is a guy that signs all of his documents as, as the I, artist yeah. formerly known as you, know you, have, you have the perfect name for that because the, the, the like I feel like the K could be where it hits the No. <laughs> Oh. Not bad. Yeah, you got to give it a there. little bit you more. You know, it's moments like this where they go, "How much longer is this yeah. podcast?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're thinking in their brain. I'm only and like, "Man, the this is right. right. three hours." Shoving my hand in the fuck bucket. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Get the topic. Get the topic here. My hand stuck in the fuck bucket. My hand is stuck in the fuck bucket. Okay. Um. Perfect height. What's the perfect height? Wow, you know, this is really interesting. Height? I've had a lot of people come up to me recently, and like a lot of a lot of people who would call themselves alpha males. I think. Wow. And and. Mike, you're an alpha male. Yeah, sorry, Mike. Oh, okay. Thank you, guys. That's yeah. really nice of you to say that. So I'm about to shit on you. <laughs> I'm trying. Mike. Um, I'm like gonna, 40 pounds gonna... overweight, but I'm trying. Yeah, most alpha males are. <laughs> you ever met an alpha male that was? You should have saw me playing soccer last night, though, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a moment where I lace them up, and I go out there and give them my all. And I wow. was a brick wall in goalie today. That's yeah. great. Okay, I didn't want to play goal. I like to run free mm. like a jaguar. Nope. Nope. Again. Nope. No. Uh, Jack Jack correctly in every way. Jack nope. Wire. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah, adding but, letters. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those aren't words. Like you're adding a lot of letters. You're adding a lot of letters. Like, you, know, you know. You put an e in there somewhere. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. There's a couple of Y's. Well, accent mark. Jaguar. 
<laughs> did you did you think about what you were saying when you said that word? No, I just let it go? fly. Yeah, 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 that's why he's an alpha. Yeah. Alphas don't oh, think about shit. Yeah, 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 man. Man. We're, we're empowering yes. him. But thank you, Ben. I, I do feel like an alpha when I'm, you know, in certain situations. Yeah, great. most of the time I'm beta. Um, so alpha, a lot of I've had a lot of people who are like, yeah, want to kind of like size me up a little bit. <laughs> And they do, they do, and they they kind of think, oh, he's a bit of all that. And um, mm. uh, the what the major thing that I get is, I thought you'd be taller. And I'm so what? I'm so satisfied with my height. I think I'm the most average of heights, and um, I'm five ten. This and I'm so fine with that. The perfect I don't need to be six foot. I don't feel like mm -hmm. I, I need that. But I get a lot of people who are taller than me be like, yeah, please, I'm taller than you. And I go, like, great. I'm thrilled that you're taller than me too. That's really weird. I don't. But they would use it as like a yeah, fuck you. You're <laughs> five <laughs> ten. Damn, like they did crazy. something. But like Tim walks around taller than me all day long, and he pretends. Like he's not like dominating me, but he knows in the back of his brain he's like dominating. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah oh but like that's a, a five, like under five ten, like yeah. mentality. Because five the ten is the line. That's yeah. where I think men feel like it's not that bad. No, it's fine. You yeah. you don't think about it when you're five ten. <laughs> and here's why: because five ten in Hollywood standards, it's if cool. you when when you when you guys do stuff like live action, you get to then put in your Wikipedia six two. Well, no, you don't want to be tall in Hollywood. Yeah, you don't, you don't want, want to be tall. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure. Get yeah. out of town. Really? Okay, really, you so don't want to be tall. You, you, you want to be Why does Robert Downey Jr. keep wearing the, 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 big, the, okay. the big... So, if you, think about the size of a, you size, if you think about the size of a frame, you want to have mm. both the both co-stars be able to fit in the frame. Right. And so, often, it's very rare. Like, Jacob Elordi is like a... a really, he's like 6'5". He's right? an example of, like, that's weird that he's he's doing so well. Because if you think about... <laughs> that doesn't create... He's, he's crazy tall, though. He looks tall on. But you're like, also this like, guy's how can you fit that tall. in the frame? It's yeah. really difficult to fit both the actors in that same frame and make it look normal. So, often, what you get is actors who are around the same height. So, shorter actors have often done better because they are the same height as their female co-stars. Mm -hmm. And so, to be shorter is actually better. It <laughs> was better. And now, it's kind of changing. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But, yeah, for ages. 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 Wow. Well, how tall are you? I'm six one. Okay, get yeah. out of here. Get out of here. Um, okay, no, I'm kidding. Really uh, that's the perfect height. That's the perfect. That's a great height. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm six one. But like again, it was that whole thing of again, you don't want to look too big on on because the because again, the camera makes you look big. So yeah. you want you you want to be. I, I remember that. It's, it was a thing. It was like being short is a good thing. So whoa. Yeah. That is being something. short, it's it's being short. average. Wow. Well. You know what I mean? Yeah. As to my wife, it's not a good thing. No, no, she it's said a bad it, she thing. Mentioned it to me. <laughs> That's wild. That's crazy. So five ten, you think is the perfect height? No, no, I think the perfect height is whatever you love. You know, because it's like I'm not, I think, no one's gonna quote. I think, I, no, I, think no my, I think my fiance is the perfect height because it's the perfect height that she is. It's like a cool thing. Is she taller or shorter? Than she you? is nine foot tall. Wow, <laughs> uh, she wow. is a giant. Yeah, I'm really into. That's crazy. I'm, I'm into kind of dangerously tall women. Oh, you that, like her to be able to scoop you up and yeah, just yeah, pick, pick, just yeah. Take your I'm in love with a redwood. Um, wow, that's <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. a whole culture of people. I'm having a consensual sexual relationship with a giant tree. It's a beautiful thing. Honestly, the, oh, this brings is a whole new definition of wood. This is a side note. There is um, there is a documentary that's worth watching, which is called um, "I'm in love with the Eiffel Tower," I think, mm. and it is a it's a documentary about people that are in love with inanimate objects and have mm. full on relationships with what? them. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. And there's wow. like a person who has a full relationship with a Ferris wheel and is in love with like a church organ. Um, so weird. So what happens with the Ferris wheel when they pack it up and bring it to the next city? Does that man travel with that Ferris wheel? It's a, I think it's a woman. And, oh, wow. Um, she has, uh, well, she follows the Ferris wheel around. Of course. Mm -hmm. And of course. she goes to visit it. And there's one bit where I think there was one person on the documentary who uh, was in love with some pews, some wooden pews in a, in a church. Wow. And they replaced the pews. And Did they burn the other ones? What happened? I don't know, but it's like the person has a physical and emotional relationship with these inanimate objects, and they and they love them. And it's a really interesting documentary. I would assume it's like stadiums when they pull out the stadium seats, and you can buy you them buy afterwards. Them, yeah. He bought the pew. He bought the pew. He's got his own little room for the pew. Candles. Yeah. I, I, I someone said a booze looking I concerned think, again. I think I'd rather shit in my hands and clap. Than <laughs> and someone would that. fall in love with that shit and then get married to Absolutely it. Absolutely not, man. I'm not. Why would I want to watch that? Why would why would you why would you watch that? Why would you spend time? You, you know you know we don't have that oh, long on enough. flights a lot. Like, yeah. He flies a lot. Yeah, I I'm, watch it on I'm flights sorry, apparently. Right. I just, just like I I'm know. Just, what do you watch in your downtime? In my down, what do I watch in my downtime? What's yeah. the, are you guys obsessed like, with any bad television right now? Or no, I shouldn't say bad. Television. You know, Love is I, you know what I really I really like. Um, there's I think it's called extraordinary, extraordinary extensions, 
and it's by this this wow. this rapper called Tiny Temper, who was a rapper and okay. some music, and then okay. now he's suddenly like you know now he's doing extensions, which is hilarious, and it's all about these people like redesigning their homes, and it's really funny, oh. and it's like really really cool, and I quite mm. like it, and it's just nice to switch off, but. I think the the thing is, it's it's tiny temper. It's like Drake doing a show on like yeah, it is um, yeah, literally like, like on house yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, on like like a house, TBS show or something literally like that yeah. And he's like it it's the most surreal thing I've ever think of. And he looks he looks incredible. Like his clothes yeah. are amazing. And you're like this guy looks well, he's incredible. Very red. Oh, very double nice. him. Also, they are in yeah. Oh, I dig this. this, this okay. it. And it's like and you're watching it and you're like, damn, wow, this is this is actually really cool. Yeah. When you, you know? first teed this up, I thought it was like some sort of gimmick, like exhibit with Pimp Your Ride. Oh like, man! Because little John has his no. own HGTV show now as right. well, and right. like it's total gimmick. But I like this. Oh, this, this is, is for real. I mean, honestly, nah. and he, really talented. And every time he appears, he dresses up dapper and beautiful, and you're like, wow, this guy's great. Yeah. So yeah, and it's, mm. yeah, so elevate it. See, that's what I watch. I don't watch people falling in love with objects. But... I watch Love Is Blind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what a series! series. Yeah. I will not do spoilers for the most recent series, but I, <laughs> I think, I think I, Tim loves Love Is Blind, right? What I love, Tim show. What I love about that show is like still the Lachey's are like. Like, is love blind? I go, um, they, none of them get married. Um, and wait, I thought, wait, is it Nick Lachey? Nick Lachey. And I Vanessa thought he was Lachey. married to... Vanessa Lachey. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, you Lachey. mean none of the characters, they people host get the blind. Show. They host the show. Yeah, no, oh, I mean, go. if you're in, in, under the assumption that any of these people actually fall in love for real, yeah. just take something heavy and hit yourself in the head with oh, it. Really? Dude. They're not falling in love? Some of them do, some of them do. Oh. <laughs> but you, they do, and they're still together. Oh, I mean. They do. But I think it's, I've, I get really annoyed. I get annoyed about the terminology. Oh. They're like, well, we're getting married, so we have to stay together. I'm like, you don't know each other. You like chatted for like four, four days, days behind a whole wall, <laughs> and then you said you're going to get married. You're like, but let's just do it to save our marriage. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like you've gone on holiday and now you're living in a house together and yeah, you've realized that actually you're not physically attracted to that person because guess what? We have mm -hmm. friends, but the mm -hmm. difference is with your partner, you want to fuck your partner. Yeah, occasionally. Do you know well what I mean? Said, like well Once a year for me, Max, but yeah, <laughs> that's what you want. Okay. Once a week, it. Sundays, 4 p.m. We like, we get it. Yeah. I love Love is Blind. I've been watching a lot of Monk lately. Wow. Monk. Yeah. Here's the thing. Netflix has been has had a, a has been reviving the 2010s for me. Mm -hmm. okay. So obviously, I was one. I'm not going to say that I'm taking full credit for it, but have you heard of the show Suits? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I watched Suit a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away when mm -hmm. it was on terrestrial television or cable television, I should say. And I watched it week to week, and I loved it. And then, like the rest of everyone in the world, around season six, we all just said, "No, we're not going to watch this show anymore." And then it went on for two more seasons, and then whatever. It comes back to Netflix, and I. Just marathon the entire thing. I won't mm. shut up about it in this office. Really? Nonstop. I keep talking to Kevin about it. I'm talking to Joey about it. Everyone oh. thinks I'm crazy. I'm watching it in the office before I'm going on a podcast when I should be preparing for the podcast. Why? Sure. I'm watching wow. I'm watching funny. Megan Merkel and and the other guy, they're having sex in the in the, the, le the legal library, and it's the hottest thing you've ever seen. I'm obsessed with this show again. I watch the whole thing. I won't shut up about it. Mm. A week later, it becomes the biggest show on television. So you're saying you brought it back. You are. I'm not saying wow. that these yep. hands have the ability to make people stars. But I have sold them before. Yeah. You know, like Greg was nothing before I got my hands on him. True. And now he has a million point five uh, followers on, on X, formerly known as Twitter. Yeah. So, so now I'm watching Monk. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and you're, trying to, you're, trying to bring, you're trying to bring No, Monk Monk's not. <laughs> Monk doesn't have the same qualities that Suits has, sadly. I tried watching uh, Royal Pains as well. Got, got a few episodes into that one. And I was like, ah, this one's not working for me. But, you know, you never know until you try it. Uh, we'll recommend Mr. and Mrs. Smith if you want to. Are you liking that? Oh, is it the good? Donald Glover one? I mean, I just love Donald Glover, but also like it's um, I can't remember the name of the director, but it's the director who did a load of episodes of Atlanta and directed the This Is America music video. Um, he, a hero Mirai, maybe, yeah. um, directed the first couple of episodes and really set the standard for what that is. And th I love Donald Glover's kind of eye for absurdism and how like violent and funny and brilliant the whole show is. And it's, oh wow, so he brings that to that as well. Oh, um, it's basically Atlanta, but assassins. And oh my it's god, cool. Okay. That's me. my selling point. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm on it. people hmm. are trying to sell the gentleman on Netflix. Oh my god, have you watched this? No, I have not. I'm obsessed. Mm. That was my. That was my. What is this for? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is one of the episodes here. Why is it so it's, big? Hold it's it's so, so big. Good. It's. I'm looking at just Donald Glover's forehead right now. Uh, looking at how he's on the scars, God's legs. Good for him. Yeah, he's great in it as well. Ah, there it is. Um, the gentleman. First off, I've heard a lot of people recommend Mr. and Mrs. Smith as well, which is great. Everyone should watch that. I gotta check that out. The gentleman on Netflix is incredible as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's a Guy Ritchie joint. Mm -hmm. 
It's one of his. It's one of his movies that he's now. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that either, Kevin. Uh, it's one of the movies that he's turned into a show, and it's a continuation of the movie, mm. shot in some of the same locations. Is it and though? It's really good. Is it continuation? Kind of like a, a, a kind of a remake. I would say remake because yeah. the, the Matthew McConaughey character is not in it. Yeah, and neither is the uh, Charlie Hoonan character. From the, the, but it's it's the same piece of property that they go yeah, on. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So it just kind of picks up there because yeah. the world they set up in the gentleman is you can tell any story this one's specifically about a family who are who are burying the weed right that's the point correct yeah and it's very very good and everyone's phenomenal in it yeah. and everyone has that cool accent that you guys have mm. so i want to watch it for hours and hours theo and hours james a very 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 attractive man he's not bad looking he's not bad i'll looking. tell you that he's in the white lotus isn't he yeah yes yeah, he's very good. Uh, white lotus what show <clears throat> uh you know here's the deal you know white lotus <clears throat> there's a few shows in the history of shows that I have bucked the trend on. And I've taken a lot of guff for it, but I'm a man, and I stand my ground. Absolutely. Stand on Do it. it. Absolutely. Couldn't get into Succession. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Simple Couldn't get into man. The White Simple Lotus. Man. I watched, uh, and, uh, I watched these shows. I watched a couple episodes, and I'm like, no, you know so what's really worth me. Monk? Let's get into Monk. Monk is one of those shows that just is a hidden gem. Ben yeah. Star, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's got a lot to it. No, I'm not saying Monk's bad. I'm just saying you chose it's Monk not over good. Succession. It's right. not good. You, we have Succession and we have Monk, and you give all the. Here, here's the. Other, <laughs> my wife currently, at home every day watching Shogun. It's oh, good. And yeah. I and I go yeah. And I go, is it good? And she says, yes. This is a great show, Mike. She yeah. says it's a great show. And I go, cool. Call me when it's over so I can watch Monk. Right. I love that for you. Could just sit right on the couch next to her and enjoy a good show. It's, too, it's a lot of reading. A lot of reading. Oh, okay. you know what TV pay? show, TV show you absolutely should watch is Raised by Wolves. <laughs> oh, I hear it's fanta- I hear it's fantastic. Oh, do you want to talk about Raised by Wolves? Yeah, yeah I, can, I can definitely talk about. What do you want to know about Raised by Wolves? Everything. Um, how was it to you, film? It was it was the most torturous thing ever to get in that bloody silver Suits. spandex suit yeah. and uh, you know be covered in you know every day mm-hmm. I had to put talcum powder across my body I do it just put, as a put this suit thing. on and I'd be lubed up every single day you know Lubed that up. lubed up. There would be some. Kevin, we need a picture. Yeah, can I get? Uh, we need a picture of this. What do you mean by this? I've never been in a tight suit. Oh like this. my so god! What, so what do you mean by this? When I auditioned for this role, okay, okay um, you know, I was just like, I'm playing an android. I was like, okay, cool. And then I get an e- a message from my agent saying that, oh, uh, Ridley wants you to look like this, and he sends me a picture of someone in a gimp suit. Oh, I'm like, was it from Pulp Fiction? Because that'd be cool. It was just from his it personal was, collection. Was <laughs> Ridley, <laughs> oh, in a gift. Ridley just gave you. Here you go. And that is the suit I had to wear. Oh my and god! You're yeah, very good real. looking. About you it. look you're very you look yeah, great. Look, great. Right. look at that. The amount of times that thing ripped. So there's a scene where um, where did where, it rip? We, I mean, everywhere. Where did, yeah, everywhere. <laughs> there's a, and I'm I'm butt naked under that. As, as well, you should. So here's the thing, guys. Right? There was a scene yeah. where this girl is talking about essentially being. Um, how she was, I mean, it's really sad. She, you know, she was, she was raped and uh, she's, you know, she's been impregnated and she wants to get rid of the baby. And there's a scene where she's kind of opening up to me and mother about this. And it's a really, really personal scene. And they did a scene, they did a shot where it was coming in through the door and I had to bend down and go through this door. And as I bent down, the whole of my back opened. My balls yep. were hanging on the floor. Yep. And oh, the scene had to continue. Really how it did because it. if I had to stop this scene, it's a very emotional scene. Yeah. So this is the realities of of what filming yeah. great sci-fi is, mm-hmm. right? It's where- Balls on the floor? Just, yep, balls <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I literally, so we honestly, I I was crouched down, the whole of the, the crew literally were filming. They, they, they've got a tape. They've got a tape of my ass crack and balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In the archive, <laughs> you said keep of it HBO. You said keep filming. Keep. Yeah. Filming. <laughs> it is. Keep it in. Make it them watch. It is. It is so, so bad. Do you feel like? Do you feel bad for the editor that got to sort through that? No, I feel very blessed, man. Yeah, right. I, I, the person I feel bad for is essentially the camera person because they were in the room. They've seen you know? it. They've seen. Yeah, yeah they've yeah, seen it. All. But like the editor, at least the editor can, you know, just be like. Oh, and then you know, save it or be like, I'm going to use this as a meme, or I could use this as blackmail in the future. That's what I always think about. You know it. I, mean? I always think the editor is going to come back, and you go, I'm an actor, whatever. I'm in skin tight. There's no honesty anymore, right? Everyone's seen the whole thing. Honestly, mm-hmm. it was that was the craziest, weird, the weirdest show I've, I've, I've ever done in my life. Is that the craziest thing that's that's happened? It's um, got to be the craziest thing that's happened while you're shooting something, right? Um, uh, I don't know. I love hearing stories about crazy yeah, shit I, that happens on these shoots. Crazy thing. I, I think that no, I, I don't know actually. I think I've, there was one. There was one show I did where um, we were filming in the Arctic, 
and it was fortitude. Like yeah, fortitude. And yeah. that was like normally they'd filmed in Iceland, but this time they decided to film in Svalbard, and that was really fucking weird because like you know this was a place where they gave us like all these warnings of like you can't wear jeans because you know it's really really cold and you could get like hypothermia and you could die or something like that. And then they were like, oh yeah, there's more polar bears than people, so you can't leave the place. You've got to leave with someone mm. with a gun. And it's like, oh, what is this, America? Uh, and then yeah. I was like, okay, no, that isn't the case. So it was it was oh, a yeah. very that was also a very weird show. But there was one time where we did actually film on like a frozen lake mm -hmm. and in my mind i'm thinking this could crack any moment and i could die but hey you know it's being an actor you got to do whatever do it for the have. content do it, do it for the content you're not afraid to suffer a hypothermia or show your balls pretty much for your crap for, a, for, for some money for money you do, man. Yep. who has a price i mean i've this done both those things he does free. it for the money he doesn't do it for the love and this is, and this <laughs> is why <laughs> shallow man this is why you should buy tales of kinzera zao uh, yes, <laughs> yes please the, yes, the, yes, grief, please, the grief is a lie it's all about yeah. balls and 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 dying money and money <laughs> balls and money <laughs> I, I just saw tomorrow walk in and he's looking at us like what the hell are these guys talking about <laughs> We're talking, we're what talking, are you doing over there? We're talking about it. Abu's dick. <laughs> <laughs> we are, in fact. Well, mostly we were talking about his he balls, but now I guess we've moved on to his yeah. dick. Yeah. He was now weird. we've moved on to his dick. I, I also want to uh, shout out that your PR person is very, very nice, has since moved away from your shot. Yeah, that's why we started. She's like, up. I don't want to hear any of this. Oh, uh, great. I think it's called plausible deniability is what mm -hmm. we see yep, there. Definitely. Tales Fantastic. of these nuts. I love that. Have you ever had to show your balls or have you showed your balls? Yes, accident? I have. I have. Um, you just do. It's a uh, I, like actors. I mean, I certainly, <laughs> certainly, I was. I was. We were. We were coming. We were coming through the industry at a time where there were fewer regulations. Intimacy coordinators didn't work. Stars was rife, and um, I mean that because Stars was like famous was for somewhere. basically like, do you want to get fully naked? If you Stars, want to the fully network. Fully. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and. It was very much that period of cable, which was get naked, show the arse, show the tits. Like the the exploitation of women on HBO over a period of time was really bad, mm. really bad. And and you know we're we, we're starting to respect it more and going, why does this person need to be naked for the purposes of it? We didn't really yes. ask those questions. And as performers, you are placed in really vulnerable positions mm. to have to do that. And there was an audition that I went for for a play. There was a period in London where everyone wanted to get their dick out. Dick out, yeah, completely. It was so, like, yeah. every, all people, uh, even recently. What, Didn't was, Daniel Radcliffe get his dick out? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, What, what, wow. what for was a, the, um, for a, 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 not a, a little life recently as well? Um, the main character, I can't remember who played him. Got I think it must be liberating. Liberating. I to think, just be able to show your penis to an entire audience of willing, but that's all people are looking at. They're not looking at the rest of the action. They you don't think they're penis. immersed in the in the moment? No. Yeah. No. No. Just at no, no. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So nudity, nudity is a really, really strange thing, and I think actors are trying to reclaim that. So yeah, I've had to do stuff to, to you know, to to to, to audition for things that you feel deeply, deeply uncomfortable with. But at the time, you didn't want to ask the questions because there was power, and you know, I. They're get, kind of getting a little bit serious, but like Me Too and stuff is very, very important because it of course. started ha having those conversations where actors could actually feel safe in those spaces and not feel like they were constantly going to be exploited by it. Mm. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the two good things to come out of that, obviously, spotlighting it in the industry, intimacy coordinators, fantastic thing. But now it's shifted. A lot of dicks. A lot of dicks being shown. Dicks. Oh, yeah. That's right. And my right. wife loves it. She's like, why? My wife doesn't, you know, she comes from a very European mindset. She's like, I don't, nudity doesn't bother me. It's the one-sidedness of the nudity, right? Yep. right? Why do we have to see a woman's vagina? Agreed. Why can't we see some dick? Yeah, also, it's fine. It's just, it's the, like, if the actor is willing to you know? do it, do it. <laughs> there was this period of, like, you're out there. What's European wrong with the dick? Drama. You know, people think dicks are ugly, Mike. They think they're ugly. I didn't know We that. don't see them enough. Oh, that's true. Normalize the dick. My go kart at the liquor store right now. Yeah. So your dick. Christ, yeah, do you go too right. far? Now it's sexual <laughs> assault. <laughs> now it's sexual assault. <laughs> He's on a comedy podcast. We're on a comedy podcast. Uh, uh, I think my, maybe this is the place where we take a break to tell you about our sponsors. Yeah, oh, I don't get yeah. some pizza. I don't even know we're doing that. I don't know. I just threw it oh in yeah, there. we That's run ads. Run ads. We run ads. It's like a normal stream. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah, we can do that. You want to do that? Yeah, of course. Well, we can't yeah. do it now. Talk fill time. Yeah, we'll fill fill time for him. Talk about your feelings. That's crazy. You got what so what else you guys got? What do you what else you guys working on? Talk to me about the future projects that we have coming up. Go ahead. Um tomorrow, tomorrow, what are the exciting things you can talk about. No, I'll say um tomorrow I'm tomorrow I'm doing the future game show spring showcase with Samantha Bayer, Carlack from Baldur's Gate Three. We're presenting that, which is cool. Cool. And FGS let me present that. So that's good um, for you, that's great. We're doing that and that's really wicked and we're showing off I think like forty different games. So good. Um and uh, so that's going to be showing on twitch.tv forward slash future game show. And right. loads, there's loads of partners. I think IGN is showing it. It's a, it's showing at the cinema and packs. So, oh, wow. Um, they, Do you know what time that is? 
tomorrow? Do we know? Uh, it would be 1 p.m. Pacific, 8 Perfect. GMT, 4 East. You don't have to worry about GMT and stuff like no that. No one we cares just, about that. If you're no not Pacific, you don't matter to us. No one it's true. cares. It's right. Okay, East Coast, worst coast, as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Yeah. So that's what... And then I'm doing this thing that I've got this this jumper on What's for, that? which What's is going on there? Natural 6 D&D. Um, oh, cool. It's got this really cool D&D thing that launches in April. You play a lot of D&D? I do not. I, this is kind of in my first you. way. I think the cool thing about it is a lot of us have played and a lot of us haven't, and we're learning as we go. And so mm-hmm. the, we kind of want this to be kind of like, almost like babies first sometimes. So yeah, go and check it out. It's called Natural Six. Congratulations on that. We spoke about that the last time you were here, yeah. right? Well, that's awesome to hear that. It's time now. That's great. Yeah, that's going to be really a long exciting. Time. It, was, it was crowdfunded. We've got a really active Discord. Um, people, want, people want the content. And we've managed to include loads of incredible video game People and D and D people to kind of help us out and create certain characters for the campaign. Abu's helped out. Uh, we've we announced that Sam Lake has designed a character. Oh wow! Game. Mm. Uh, Very cool. We've wow. got a load of other people that we haven't like officially announced yet. But yeah, Sam was really lovely and said he'd he'd create an entirely new character for our campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Very lucky. Very lucky. But what do you got going on? Hold on. I got to wait. I got to ask this question. You've never played D and D before. That's no, amazing. No, no, I hadn't. I mean, I had played a, like the tiniest amount, but not to the where we're doing it yeah. now, where I, I'm going on this really long journey. I'd done like a little one shot, but I'd always wanted to play it, and I just didn't have people to play it with. How'd you find it? I fucking love it. It's, it's, it's crazy cool, so right? Good. It's good. And it's silly, and it's it's silly and fun and enjoyable, and we're just like making mistakes, and well, you can do whatever you want. That's yeah. the weirdest thing. Yeah, that's, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. And, um, but it's still controlled because you know that's the thing about the DM, the DM. Like the DM has got if you've got a good DM, like it makes you feel like it's a complete open world. But at the same time, then you know you got you're on a journey. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, we did a uh, my first D and D game. I think last year. I can't remember what month we did it at, but we had uh, Sage Ryan came and joined us, and uh, I I tried to study because I was going to DM. That was the mm-hmm. whole that was the whole bit. I like to just go to the top. You know, I don't want to start at the bottom being a player. I like to go get the control. Which apparently is the absolute wrong way to do it. Um, but I, I reached out to a couple of my friends who have been running games for a really long time. And one of the best pieces of advice I got was there's no winning a D&D game. It's all about a shared experience. It's all about having fun. And it's all about enabling everyone around the table uh, as, as the DM to have a fun shared narrative that can continue to go and, 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 and be fun for people. And at the best, if you do it the best, it becomes real to them and it's super fun. And, yeah. and uh, I don't know that we got close to that, but we did I have a lot a blast, of- I had a blast, Nick. I, I felt that freedom. I, I thought yeah. it was really cool of like, you're in this playground where you can come up with any idea and do it all. And yeah, yeah. I caused a little havoc. I had a lot of fun with it. I what was you your did character's name? Motor. <laughs> <laughs> we did fast and furious themed, themed. <laughs> dude, right. dude, it was super fun uh folks we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back this episode is brought to you by shady rays an independent sunglasses brand that has over 300,000 five-star reviews they're on a mission to match affordability with durability making top quality shades accessible to everyone they have tons of styles and colors to pick from so finding the perfect polarized shades is a breeze Their tangle-free collection is perfect for all hair types and is their hottest selling style. These shades have specifically designed nose pieces with long hair in mind for ultra comfort so you'll never have a snag in your hair. Here at Kinda Funny, we all love wearing our Shady Rays. Whether it's Tim looking dope in his Pokemon Go walks, Snowbike Mike rocking the snow goggles, or me just looking fantastic in my tangle-free shades. If your shades go MIA or take a hit, don't sweat it. They've got lost and broken protection, so you're covered from day one. And if you don't love your shades, exchange or return them for free within 30 days. There's no risk when you shop. Exclusively for y'all, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the season. Head to ShadyRays.com and use the code KF20 for $20 off each pair of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 300,000 people. Again, ShadyRays.com and use code KF20 for $20 off each pair of polarized sunglasses. This episode's brought to you by Robinhood. Did you know that even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have an IRA? Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get started at Robinhood.com boost. 
subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info. Claim as of Q1 2024 validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risk, including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood Gold for one year from the date of first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA available to U.S. customers in good standing. Robinhood Financial LLC member SIPC is a registered broker dealer. Hey everyone, oh, we're back. Shit. Why did it go to this? Did screen? we come back? Are we we're back? Wrong Are we screen back? though. Give me. No, no, I think you can hear us. Can they hear us? Yeah. yeah Chat. Yeah, let me know yeah. if you can hear us. There it is. My bad. I need to know. I don't see the chat moving at all. It doesn't matter. I'm going to assume we're back. Ladies you. and gentlemen, welcome back. We have two new illustrious guests. Two new incredible us. guests. Incredible Some guests. of my favorite people to get to spend some time with. Aww. Two most of the most knowledgeable, professional human beings that I have ever had the pleasure of embarrassing. So professional. On this then podcast. Then there's you and Tomorrow I. and Lucy James are here right now. Hello. Eating, I've grabbed you guys as you were eating yeah. two slices of pizza because we're doing a fun bit here. Now, I've got I've got a bucket of topics. You've got the dussy. I've got the dussy. <laughs> Uh, have you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe that? Hey, I'm real quick. You yeah. gotta be real close to the mic. She's gotta, just not. She's yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know, I'm just telling. Them. She's a professional. I'll say it again. She's been on. You got the doozy. Oh, the doozy. Louder. <laughs> I was uh, scrolling the uh, uh, Instagram the other day, mm. and I came across that meme of uh, I forgot that Dieter. Dieter the guy from Office Space, who's like, he's oh, like what okay. would you do if you had all this money in the world? Like, he's like, hmm, I'd do two chicks at the same time, right? Mm. But the meme was, doing two, <laughs> doing two buckets at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to pull a topic <sighs> from the bucket of topics there's, right now. There's one, before I do that, there's yeah, one we can talk about that it. went around, which was like, um, I don't like the. It was like something like I don't like the look that the uh, the uh, snack attendant gave me when I ordered the Dune two oh, pop, popcorn bucket and butter and left. <laughs> I just left. I just left. I just left. left. <laughs> Have I told you my experience with this bucket? Oh, this is not good. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's really bad. My hand is stuck. Yeah, it gets stuck in there. Imagine if you stuck something else. Stop. Sorry, hey, I apologize. Hey, well, that hey, was the hey. that was the whole thing of it. That was the. Oh, so that I'm was, sorry. I, I really I had to just finish that pizza because I was so. So this is the topic we're going to be discussing, correct? We can. Yeah. yeah I'll have yeah. Lucy pull one too. We don't have okay, to talk about it for very long. I mean, um. I would like to know why won't Andy be my best friend? Why won't he be our best friend? <laughs> why won't Andy be our best friend? Let's yeah. Why won't what Andy be our best friend? That's him. a great question, especially for the four <laughs> of us. Why won't Andy be our best friend? That's I invite Andy question. out constantly. Yeah. The silence yeah. deafening. Yeah, Texts deafening. Unanswered. unanswered. Basically, he can see us and He's hear us right now. He, he just put headphones in. <laughs> earbuds in. Headphones in. Can you be talking about Andy for a second? Look at it. Look at how his shoes match this incredible hoodie that he's got. This is something Here, I'll that take a, I'll take a picture and send it to Kevin. This you doesn't get enough. This doesn't get enough attention. But Andy is incredibly well dressed. Always, well he's done. always yeah. coordinating the colors at the very least. He, has he a, always looks cool. Yes. Yes. And if he you cool. noticed, he wears his own merch. Yeah, that's he baller. designs the cool. clothes that he wears. He says, "I want to wear cool stuff, so I'll just make it myself." That's like when I got really into uh, sewing videos on TikTok, and I was like, "I'm gonna make <laughs> stuff." <laughs> James is so cool. <laughs> I bought, oh my I bought a sewing machine, Mike. <laughs> I'm gonna make my <laughs> I own. A sewing stuff. Machine. I have a pair of curtains that are two foot too long. And I've been there for two and a half years, and I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we uh, first off, I think everyone feels you. Mid pandemic, I decided to buy a keyboard because I was going to learn piano. Oh, nice! Oh, and I yeah. did not. I, I flirted with that. And I did stopped. You? I stopped. Yeah. I want. There's so many things that if I could wave a magic wand, I would love to do, learn how to do. I follow so many cosplayers on Instagram, and they're they make legit okay. the coolest shit ever. They and I th in my brand, I'm like, I could make that. Who would you cosplay like, as? Who would I cosplay as? Yeah, I'm sure you thought about it. Oh, um. You know, I have not thought about it actually. I actually, I just want to make the costumes because I, I don't like. I feel like you could pull off a Leto Atreides pretty well right now. Ooh, oh, that's good. Okay. I, think so. I could just make it on a table like this. For that would be <laughs> a pretty easy cosplay. I mean, if I had your hairline, I could probably do that because Oscar Isaac's hairline was so incredibly good <laughs> in that powerful. movie. God, he's good. Like it was incredibly that. powerful. Uh, I would. I want to go as Wolverine at some point if I can get Ooh, jacked yeah. out because I'm a little taller than Wolverine's supposed to be, and it would be mm -hmm. nice to feel too tall for once. Are you, oh, are okay. you gonna do the? Um, the Hollywood <laughs> diet fitness program. Oh, don't get him started right now. I mean, there is Ask, there is a topic. There is a topic in there that says oh. should Nick do testosterone, and then there's also another one that says PRT. should Nick do Ozempic. <laughs> uh, probably don't do either of those. Yeah. <laughs> well, according to my doctor, no. The answer is no to both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went to my. Uh, I, I, would, I would trust that guy. Uh, he was Googling shit, so no, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know that I trust my, yeah. my primary care physician. First off, we're getting real deep in the rabbit hole here, and you guys can mm -hmm. take off whenever you need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I, mean, I don't think we're on for like another hour. All right, perfect. Yeah. 
I I think my primary care physician ghosted me. Oh, you know what? Ghosted that does happen. Ghosted me. My OBGYN ghosted me. Is that they legal? Do that? Are we allowed I, to do I this? Logged, I logged they in. Can, Andy, yeah. Keep that door open so we can see you. Andy, you open that door right now. Andy. You open that door Andy. right back up so we can you see close you. The door. Andy. You can't. These no. mics aren't picking anyone no. up. And I want I want to see people and pull them in. No. I want the distraction. I want to pull Yeah, and we're talking about you. And well, we're talking kind of, about we you. We kind of dropped it. <laughs> 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 he shut it because he wanted us. Yeah, to he was like, Wait, so your OBGYN ghosted you? Yeah, dude. She, How does that even no, no, happen? No. So I was ringing them the other day. Yeah. And they were like, oh, yeah, she's uh, she's not even at that practice anymore. And I logged mm. into the well, app she... and it was a completely new woman because they were like, yeah, you you got a, an appointment with Dr. Schmidt. I was like, I'm not. I don't know, That's, I don't I don't know that person. I don't yeah, know yeah they can just swap whenever they want. Like, because it, it, it's I, cool. I, it happened to me once Love when it. I first moved over. I got a doctor and then I tried to get another appointment. And they were like, this dude is, doesn't exist anymore. I was like, all right. I make cool. jokes, though, at the OBGYN because I'm really uncomfortable. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Um, mm. And yeah, I definitely do too. Yeah, I make them. Do they have like a hang in there baby sign up on the ceiling? I, you know, I've got a tight five on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would like to hear your tight, <laughs> tight five, on, five that. on that. I don't know that I want to go with you to the OBQIN, <laughs> but I would love for you to get up on stage and tell me what all is the those deal jokes. With babies? <laughs> I, uh, I had a therapist ghost me one time. Not really ghost oh, me, but oh, I did, he was like, Yeah, I'm moving to New York. And I was like, Cool. So how can I get in touch with you? And he was like, Sure. You can't. So sure. <laughs> get right back to you on that one. And I can't, I just can't. No, that's a, that's a, a state thing. Yeah, what does that mean? Allowed, you yeah. Can't, yeah, you, they could only practice it. So, so I had a, I had oh. a therapist that wouldn't. It's funny because I was I like, oh, so I'm going to go back to London for a little bit. Can we still do our calls? And she was like, no. Well, I mean, that's, that's everyone. That's for everyone else. But for you, they, they just were like, no, I just don't want to No, I'm pretty sure my guy was like. I, I had a hair therapist literally say, I can't help you. Really? <laughs> Which is First time the, I thought you said I had a hair therapist. And I was like, I, you yeah, can yeah, be a hair therapist? <laughs> I want the hair therapist. So how, is your, how are your follicles feeling? <laughs> I mean, they're a little dry right now. And honestly, they're on end. <laughs> you got it, Nick. You got it, Nick. Oh my we God. have a good rapport. Um, no, dude, but I I went in for a physical, and I've tried to see my doctor three times, and every single time they go, "Cool, you got it. You got an appointment with Doctor G. No problem. Not not a problem. I shouldn't probably say his name." And um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> probably should have said that. Yeah, but whatever. Maybe he's dead for all I know. I don't fucking know because every time I go in to to, to visit this doctor, it's the it's this other doctor, oh. and he's I don't think he's really a doctor. He's like. <laughs> Because I went in for a physical and I was like, do you need to do like the stuff that I would assume you're doing for a physical? Mm. And in prior years, it's it's been like, you know, you check out everything. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually a physical is head to toe. Yeah. Blood work, all that stuff. And he's like, oh, you want to get, you want to, you want to do that? You want to get blood work done? You want to do these things? I was like, what do you mean? It's not an option. Yeah. I want you to test to see if I have cancer I, okay. or some sort of blood problem. What is the deal? And he was like, I guess we can do that. And then I was like, do you think I need testosterone? Why do you think you need testosterone? Yeah. Is it need, need want? These two words are interchangeable. Yeah. Why? Why do you? What want is the one? I'm getting older, mm -hmm. and I'm okay. gaining weight. Okay. Right. And yeah. instead of working out and eating healthfully, you want a shortcut. I would healthfully. like a shortcut. Healthfully. Healthfully. Oh, right. What did I say? Healthfully. Healthfully. <laughs> help, help me eat. Somebody um, spoon feed me some oats. Like a green the thing card. about uh, <laughs> the thing about those that most people don't talk about is you're basically starting a voluntary dependency on testosterone. On either of those, yeah, I want like because yeah, yeah cause then you, for the rest of your life you're doing that because it's like oh you don't build the habit of being healthy right and that's why you right. just eat the pill and yep. the moment you stop eating the pill when you get to a point where you're like I feel good about myself I'm gonna get off this mm -hmm. it's just hey, you, you bounce like back Ozem it's all gonna bounce back yeah Ozempi is definitely like that um, testosterone I think like it just has side effects well like, T well T I would has a lot of side effects that I'm willing yeah. to take on number one you go bald. Your dingling stops working. Your pee pee leash, Damn, your pee -pee leash wait, shrinks wait, up wait, and stops wait. working. Okay, I don't oh, know no. anything about biology, but I thought testosterone was supposed to like do the opposite of all that. I think testosterone, if you, well, it's my understanding if you take too much of it, it'll make you go bald. That's why yeah. you see guys that are jacked out of their gourd who are like huge that are just bald because yeah. it, oh, it kills wow. your hair. And they, they are not having good sex. Yeah, but I'm married. <laughs> that's fair. Okay. So that's not really a consideration yeah. for me. Yeah. Got there already. <laughs> yeah. Like actually, that might be a benefit for my wife if I just stopped. <laughs> Trying to have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> like, she might be like, like in the middle of the night, I might feel a prick on my, on my butt. She's like, stab me with more testosterone. <laughs> get it in. It's like a fucking dog. Just making sure. <laughs> just get it in there. But no, on a real talk, though, it's just because there's been a bunch of, of like comics that I follow, like Burt Kreischer's on it, and he's mm -hmm. jacked out of his gourd. But oh. it's terrible. It's obviously... The side effects are very, very real, and I'm I'm joking yeah. about both these things. Yeah, yeah. I the other thing about people who take tea is like it's immediately visible. 
Like you can tell, like, I, oh, you're on testosterone. Yeah, because you're you look veins like a little huge. Minecraft character. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. Just square. You're just a square walking Running around, around at that point. That shit. Yeah, it's also not good if you have like uh, a history of cancer because it could create more cancer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so with all that in mind, mm -hmm. what's the one? What's the one? Does the one outweigh the? Well, here here's the real problem with it, right? If I could just take the tea and lug jacked, that'd be great. But you still have to go to the gym. Yeah, you need you need to put in the work. Yeah, and my thing move. is, if I'm not putting in the work now, having more... I mean, it does give you more energy. Yeah. It does make you feel... Like people That's go, oh, I feel like I was 18 years old. But when I was 18, I was very overweight and lazy. Same. So I don't think that it's going to... I don't really necessarily want to go back to that time yeah. in my life. Okay. But I do want to lose 10 pounds. That's it. 10 pounds is very... First of all, you look great. Thank you. You look great. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you do. Secondly, 10 pounds better. is very doable. You know I know. What? That's the problem. You know what? You know what I've got? An oh, I know you don't got an OBGYN. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, sorry. <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, Nick, okay. you're, yeah, you're, on today. you're on today. You're on today. Absolutely today. done. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> like a little under the desk walking treadmill. You could be that guy. You could be uh, that guy. How is well, that? Is that loud? You know, it's squeaky at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get enough it's momentum, it's like, pretty loud. Like, it's pretty it's loud. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty loud. Do you have a treadmill at home? At home? Yeah. No. Get one I, you. you can get one of those walking treadmills. I had one of those for a while before I gave it to Callie. But uh, here's the thing. It's I'm it's a great idea. Yeah, I'm before, I'm, <laughs> I, know I would have to get a new desk because I don't... No, 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 you, have walk, a, you have a sit stand. The walking oh, treadmill... I, no, at home. I, what I would no, say get it for here. Get the walking treadmill. Put it where you watch TV. Okay. Can I? Oh, I like so that. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching. You're watching movies all the time. Just yeah. like walk while you watch. Yeah, movies. but then how do I eat my bowl of Cheerios? <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> I do. I do emails when I'm walking. It is like genuinely get it here. Bonus. You annoy everyone else. The problem is, it's but loud. <laughs> Here, here's but, the thing. But, 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 yeah, I know. I'm here. You've been dropping. You've been dropping pounds while you're dropping out. LBs. You know, my boss makes a dollar. I make a dime. That's why I walk on my walking pad on company time. Nice job, Lucy. I got there. Nice job. Yeah. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. That's now, bad. now, now. Counterpoint. Okay. To this. Counterpoint. Um, Andy likes to do the standing desk thing. He's standing right now. And it's really yeah. fucking annoying. Standy, we call him. Standy. Am I going to be more or less annoying than Andy? 100% no right more or right annoying. Answer, okay. Way more. Oh, that could be good for you. No, no, no. This could be good for you. I was in a, I was in a meeting with, uh, like, it was it was a pretty important meeting. Mm. It was one of, like, a manager meeting, like, compensation stuff at work. And um, I just immediately get slacks. Mm. What are you doing? Yeah. Why are you so tall? Why are you moving? That was me. I was like, why are you so tall today? I was known multiple people. So long. Multiple people tall? like, what is wrong with you? And it was because I was being that prick who was standing during okay. a meeting. Yeah. That's the issue that we have here. Yeah. Is Andy will stand right next to Nick and Nick is sitting looking up at me, doesn't Do like you, that. Have you mm. either of you tried standing? Yeah, I, I stand sometimes. Yeah. Do you have you tried it? I don't know that I can stand and play games at the same time. It have you comes, tried it? it? It's like no. dude, it's I actually send really good. Emails and like, I'm not uh, I I didn't think I would be into it, but oh, I started standing to work and standing to like play games sometimes. Do you feel that you're more you're more physically fit because of the standing? Yes, I think so. Okay, because like you also like shift around a bit, and like you can. We have balance boards here, so you could stand on a balance board. Oh, I like God. moving around. Like if I'm watching or doing. See, so that's my thing is I'm I'm not very sanitary. I move around a lot. Yeah, I'm cool. always walking around this office yeah. cleaning stuff. I like when to walk. When he puts on his work gloves, you better get ready. You better watch out, man. <laughs> sweat. Someone's getting people are getting dragged into this whatever stupid obsession I've got today. <laughs> getting dragged into their ASAP. He's asking testosterone and pick everyone. He's like, what do you think? You just got to get those T levels up, yeah. baby. That's I want someone to like Photoshop like uh, the Morpheus red pill, uh, blue pill, mm -hmm. and it's just testosterone and it's it was pick. But it's you just which one's better? On <laughs> yeah, man. Presenting it to people. Chad will do that. There's a couple. <laughs> people in the chat that'll get that done right now. Yeah. No, I don't know. I for for yeah, I don't know. Mike, how you feeling about testosterone? You want to take some with me? Should we pull another topic? Let's pull another topic. Let's pull another topic. Let's Lucy, get the bucket. Yeah, because we have a lot of topics in there and these are our next guests. Let's pull another topic. The question was is yeah. will Andy be our friends? And I think we all can agree he will One day. Wait, hang on. Is there other stuff in here that's not just questions? There's some candy yeah, in there also. Oh, candy. Okay. Just in case you want it. I did put a hard candy up and I was like I'm not <laughs> reading all that. <laughs> okay. That feels Horrible, by the way. Yeah, it's not fun. Uh, oh, peppermint. Yes. Kate Middleton. Oh, I was hoping oh, you guys would pull this up. Can we perfect. get some big talks of Kate Middleton? Where what is, is happening Kate Middleton? with Kate Middleton? She is so dead. She's dead, right? <laughs> no, she's I'm dead. Kidding. Oh, yeah. okay, I'm, kidding. You, I'm like, oh, shit. She we're not happy dead. about that. By <laughs> the way, if, if two months from now it turns out that she is dead, we were not, we're not yeah, joking we're just, about yeah. it. Not, it would be a terrible thing. happy. But yeah. it would be... 
It will be called it. I keep saying this is the most interesting thing anyone in the royal family has done in decades. Decades. Since Diana. Just since Diana, Got yeah. Bed. Since Diana came out with just the most unreal dress on. Like that's Oh, like the, the revenge world. dress? Yeah, the revenge yeah, dress I mean, was one. Oh. The revenge, dress see the revenge hot. dress? I've never seen that. Kevin, Google, oh, Kevin, we please. see the revenge dress. Princess Di, oh, she found revenge. out that her husband, Prince Charles, getting married, right? Was having an affair, basically. Okay. Oh, okay. And she was like, I was, I'm thinking the revenge bikini that she wore oh, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, leopard yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, leopard skin. That was oh, hot. But you're that thinking, was, yeah, this is earlier. I'm this is earlier in the yeah, crown. Yeah. She, ro- she rocked up. She just basically we came out. It. Just wearing. So cool. Just came out looking hot and was like, does it, check, it it yes, check it out. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Love yeah, the that. shoulders. Love you could, that. You could get a Barbie of that. That's it right there. Look at that. Look at that. Damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's incredible hair. And too. meanwhile, Prince Charles looks like ass. Well, well, this is the night that she was dancing with uh, John Travolta. <laughs> oh, right. Imagine yeah. that. Wow. Yeah. Imagine Holy that. cow. That's wild. That's incredible. Yeah, she looked amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Always had the same haircut, though. Yeah. Better or for worse. It was, it was, yeah. It was hood. That was the dye. That was the thing was back the then. Yeah. I dig the haircut. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. the 90s. Um, what can you say? Since then, no one's done anything interesting up until. Well, well, well you had like, Harry. You had Harry. He did some interesting stuff with I guess. Oh, like that. There was I that mean, none of that thing. was good. No. I mean, this is this could be not good, too. I, it's interesting. That stuff wasn't interesting. That was like, leave them alone. Um, yeah, that's Treat them with dignity. Oh, I, was, <laughs> yeah. I was talking about when Harry went as a Nazi for a Halloween party when he was. Oh, like, yeah, there was that. that. Yeah. There was yeah, like little was moments. That. There was um, the multiple racist gaffes of. Yeah. Um, there was a lot Philip. of that. Right. Yeah. I got, um, to, I got to meet. But like the queen this once. is. Did you really? You met, you met the queen. Yeah, dude. What'd you say to her? Yo, you got a good. You got a good no, line no, no, on the OBGYN. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it back no, no, again, no, no, Nick. No, no. I said, uh, "Welcome to Sunderland, Your Majesty," because I had to present her with a bouquet of flowers. Cool. Did you have to? Did you have to like? I had bow to learn how to curtsy. curtsy? curtsy? Yeah. Oh, you got a curtsy. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're I think we're just so in America we're so fascinated with the royal family because we don't have one. Yeah, and what it's so about? cool. You've got we have the Kardashians. Uh, yeah, you got Kardashians. Uh, no, but like, who, who is more? Interior? We have Robert Downey Jr. Have, yeah, who's, who's, we have Kanye. Been around longer than the Kardashians, though, because I mean, for us, royal family, we've had them for De- decades, 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 decades sure. hundreds of years, and they're you know all still the same family. Yeah. Because, hmm. you have the is who's the our Osmonds. Family? I don't think Donnie, Os- Donnie Osmond. I mean, are, they I don't all, think- are they all dead? Uh, I, no, Donnie uh, Donnie's still alive. Yeah. Okay, cool. Donnie, Donnie Osmond for They're some reason family. has been going around surprising a bunch of people uh, on TikTok recently. Like what, just appearing in their TikToks? Yeah, no, but you know, you know, middle aged middle aged women who love Donnie Osmond and they, you know, they do something. Oh, mm. everyone's saying the Kennedys. The Kennedys, oh. sort of, but the Kennedys aren't really prevalent anymore, mm. except for RFK. You have the Simpsons. Yeah. Insane. Simpsons. Big Ultimate American, American family, the yeah. Simpsons. They do, yeah, re- they really cool. are American. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is very true. That is the, the family. So you got, so your official word to more Hussein is that no. you think Kate Middleton's dead. So oh. my... Th- yeah, I don't think she's dead. No, no, I don't think she's dead. I, my theory was she found out her current husband... The prince William. was cheating on her mm-hmm. okay. with Lady Chumley, whoever you Lady Ch- 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 from Lady Chumley. Chumley. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Rose, Rose, Rose something of Chumley, Duchess yeah. of Chumley. Can we look out? Can we get a beat on the Duchess oh, of Chumley? We're, we're gonna get a beat on it. We're gonna yeah, get a look. And, yeah, yeah. And the f- so I think she found out and was like, okay. Well, don't forget, there's rumors. There's rumors that he also had a kid with her. No. Yeah. No, homie. <laughs> Who's that? Who's Rahul? Who's Oh. Who the hell? Um. Yeah. Uh. Ha- reportedly had kids with her and then like they've showed pictures of like older mm-hmm. pictures where it's like his kids standing next to these other kids her kids and people are like hmm damn oh so well, it's been well, going on well there were rumors as well that Harry was not um, Charles's kid and Harry was James so she had a thing too someone's like, oh the, the for Jacob Diana guy yeah, 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 yeah 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 people believe that Harry is not the uh, Prince Charles's son because he's ginger because he's, he's redhead yeah yeah what it goes yeah, so deep, man. Yeah, this is the problem, you know. You deep. put that, you put that squeaky clean, like image out there, and we all know there's some dirty shit going on behind the. Oh yeah, they, yeah. they are, they are, they're all freak nasty oh, back there, aren't they? They are intermingling. They're having sex with family members that are way too close to the gene pool. They're at it. Man. I mean, you got to keep, you got to Lannister. Oh, you got to keep, keep, keep the gene. Lannister uh, pays his debts. Yep. Like the Habsburgs. Oh. Oh, if you want to yeah. see some. The what? So. uh a Hun- couple, couple hundred years ago, okay. the royal family was so inbred, the line, the Habsburgs, mm-hmm. that um, Kevin, I'm going to need a, an assist on this one. He's bringing up the Duchess of Chumley right now. Oof. 
Ooh. Yes, you see it right there, right? Is that that's her standing next to him? Yeah, yeah. And it's def- There's definitely a. Vibe Damn, there. it's yeah, like that one meme eyes. of the guy walking by with the girl. Damn. Yep. Oh, yeah. it is. Oh, it is. It's yeah. just yeah. like it is, that. Yeah. It is the original you one see of those. That? You're memes. like that doesn't feel right. No. Nope. The that's Duchess what I'm looking of Chumley. Uh, the Habsburgs. Habsburgs. I think it's like Charles. The you got to spell it for him. Second. H a p s b u r g s. I think. Just type in Habsburgs inbred. Uh, Langley in the chat says, "Woof, the Habsburgs were wild." Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think you get to be wild. That's the. I think that honestly is is the appeal of being a royal is that you get to just do whatever the hell you want, and everyone. Well, remember him. when um, what's his name got caught being a meeting? Was it Epstein? Oh, uh, uh, Andrew, and he was like, no, "That no, no, couldn't no. be me. I don't sweat." Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, that Gillian Anderson movie about that interview is out on Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his yeah, his excuse of being like I. I had some PTSD I from being in Pizza Express. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, was, I was dropping off uh, yeah. one of my daughters at Pizza Express. Yeah, he's like, yeah. He's Pizza Express. Look at that. Charles II of Spain. So Look not, not UK, but um, there were some of them that just like couldn't talk. Wow. So they were just horribly inbred. Yeah. yeah. And like they Damn. all had this big ass chin. Whoa. That's wild. Partied though, you know? They fucking partied. They fucking partied. Yeah. <laughs> So you got to give him that, Mike. Hey, hey, they're partying. Because we've all been. <laughs> hey, hey, they're, they're partying. Right. Love them or hate them, they're partying. They will be partying. They do be partying. We've all been that drunk. So will when what, will Nick, she What appear? are you saying? When will we see her? I when, what do you think well, the next move is? Uh, Easter is oh, allegedly. Just wave it. I'm just waving, I'm waving, waving at you. Just Hello there. there. Easter is allegedly yeah. when we will. Oh my uh, god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh shit! We got the whole. We got, we got uncles and nieces banging. Here. We got cousins. I love okay. how audio listeners. We brought up one face. We brought up a family tree. <laughs> her face is amazing. amazing. I'm trying to think who she looks like. She looks like an athlete. I can't remember. Who. Uh, the second cousins are marrying her. Uncles and nieces are banging. This is this is bad news bears. I mean, not as not as bad weirdly as uh, the. Ancient Egyptians. They oh, yeah. would marry oh, brother yeah. to sister, father to daughter. Well, they wanted to keep in the bloodline. They didn't have science back then. No. I mean, yeah. oh, okay. they had big triangles. Well, I mean, you're talking 1661 to 1700. They probably didn't know any better either. They did have big triangles. <laughs> that was a good that's like, I'm good sorry. One. I that, that one was, was my good. stupid comment. Oh, my God. Uh, so, allegedly, the, the party line is she's coming back after Easter. So, she... She's risen. So, the idea yeah, is that she's exactly. just taking a break right now because of So, all the this, official all line is she had abdominal surgery. Which I buy, which, you know. The problem with that is they keep putting out fake photoshops of her. <gasps> and Why then would pretending you do that? that she did them. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, I saw that was what? the thing that was, that was, that was yeah. the thing. If you had abdominal yeah. surgery, you'd be like, she's had ad- abdominal surgery. She'll be back soon. You wouldn't photoshop a composite image together badly and then put it out there. And people are like, this is fake. What are you doing? Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. Like, if I just, if I was recovering from abdominal surgery... I would be on TikTok the whole time. Yeah. I would yeah. not be hit. I, 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 no. I put a joke out there that I hope it's true. Is that I, I think she's catching up on One Piece. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, Come there's, aboard. There's okay. a lot well, I, on a my, grand my adventure. My favorite one was that she got bangs and she had to grow them out. <laughs> uh, smart. She caught him and was like, We've all been there. Yeah, don't dude. cut your own bangs, folks. Never cut your own bangs. No. Yeah, my theory was I mean, who knows what kind of surgery? It, obviously, that's, that's, that's up that's to her. That's serious. But that's serious. And that's her own private medical stuff. That but, is her own private medical stuff. We have to respect space. that. It just, it sh- somebody just hacked it, right? What? So, wasn't that news yesterday that like someone had tried to hack her? Medical? Oh, I, yes. Oh. The hospital said um, it's pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. Don't be doing that. Yeah, yeah. Hack. Definitely don't hack people's like medical records. That's they put another picture of her in a car with uh, her husband, but the Swifties ha- got on it. Yeah, everyone's They're on fucked. it. People oh, they got like, the Swifties oh, on it now. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, I'll tell you what. If there's people one group like, of people oh, I don't want to piss off. It's the Swifties. Yeah. No, no, oh, no, no, no. If you get the if you get the paper. The paper. K-pop fans on there too. Yeah, that man, that man is the dead. K- K-pop fans, the BTS fans specifically, yep. the Swifties and the Bobs. I gotta find. Oh I'm yeah, find you. any of them, man. Oh, man. Not, and not. shout out to Nicki Minaj. Well, no, not always. She's just not singing some of the songs, and I feel bad. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't like the to. song, and I'm like, I'm like, I love that song. Just sing the song, and she don't want to sing the song. <laughs> what, like, is, oh, what is this like, you're bringing up here, Kevin? You've got some. You've got something over here. You've got some detective, and you're doing. Oh, fake Middleton. This is it. Yeah, that is fake Middleton. Coming from is it fake Morgan? Great to see. Yeah, Kate I mean that looks nothing Florida. like her. That is like. Well, she does. I mean, a, but she has but, a professional. Um, but here's the thing. Like, you. This is my theory, right? Is make, that, and again, anyone can get whatever they want. I'm not. I'm not throwing shade at all. Yeah. You throw shade, but, but I'm not right. I, the abdominal surgery thing is definitely the thing that 
I would say, say if I was like, I'm going to get plastic surgery or something yeah. that mm-hmm. maybe is going to take me a few months to like a nose job or a, a tummy tuck or something that's, I'm getting a lot of, you know, she's had a couple kids, yeah, yeah. more power to her if she wants, you know. You say she's got a mommy makeover? I think and maybe that might have been the thing yeah. and that, that mm-hmm. takes a few, that but, could take a few months to do. But and again, more power to her. I'm not, I'm not throwing shade, but I'm just saying if you're going to do that, like the Only. Royals wouldn't come out and say like, yeah. oh, she, yeah. she had some stuff done. But no, no, no. So. The way that celebs get their plastic surgery done is they do what they what the drag queens do on um, Drag Race. You know, okay. when you're not allowed to say that you're going to be on Drag Race, so you take loads of pictures and you have someone post them. Oh, so it's like the time. you are not on Drag Race, and a bunch of celebrities right. do this too. Okay, they're not seen in public, but you know their socials are still updated and. So that you, so basically they just didn't plan it correctly. They were they, like, you should have yeah, taken a few pictures, full. but it's harder with her though because she is. Everywhere she goes, there would be moment to moment updates. So that I would be like, don't do that because people are gonna know you weren't there at that time. Yeah, people are gonna call you yeah. out for this shit, right? If you're like taking pictures at the local Starbucks, like my Starbucks people will know the day I'm not coming in. They're like, <laughs> yeah. where's yeah. Nick? Like, Yo, where's Nick? They're like, where were you yesterday? I yeah. don't understand it. You're addicted. We to had this all thing. your drinks ready. Yeah, exactly. We had all your venti iced coffees, <laughs> your five dollar coffees that your you don't need ready. Covered peanuts already. Hi right, Tim, come here. What are you doing? Tim. Tim just doesn't Tim, like come to here. see the outside. Tim. Now, Tim. now, now Tim this is what they did. They lock us in and we yeah. never get to see the outside. Andy, Andy messaged Tim and was like, um, go and pull rank. No, see, Tim thinks that they're, they're, there's going to be too much energy coming from that room here. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. know. But in the back was my he, he, he heard what we were talking about. He's like, I got to close the door right yeah. now. These mics are great at not picking up. That's what yeah. I keep telling yeah, yeah. No, but they don't I'm not going yeah. to put this right up in my mouth. Right That's up in the grill. See, we've done really well. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin doubted us. I doubted all of you. He doubted everyone. Even, all even all us? us? Yes. Yeah. I actually uh, brought you guys up specifically yesterday. He said Lucy doesn't understand how microphones work. <laughs> Damn. So you have to explain it to her. And I was like, I'm pretty sure she does because she's yeah. a professional. She's done yeah. a couple podcasts here and there. Pull like, another topic out. One or two. Topic? Pull another one. You want to do one more topic? Yeah, we're Man, that was them. good. Well, okay, well, wait, last I, prediction. Now when I do don't know we, what's do going on on the outside We world. see Kate Middleton coming in at Easter. <laughs> two Easter. weeks from now, Easter Sunday, she's going to be Easter, she has risen. She's going to have Just like ass. Jesus. Like her ass is going to be. She's going to look like, she's gonna look like her ass yeah, yeah, She's going to have no the way, big ass, ass, big boobs. And people are going to be like, oh. We do you think she did, do you think she did her lips? Do you think the lips are gonna come? Just out ass. It's gonna be like a shelf. A hundred percent shelf ass. A shelf ass. She'd be the first royal in the history yeah. of the royal family to have Throwing a shelf it back. ass. Perfect. Yeah. I love that. Um All right. Gotta, gotta. Uh, you want I don't, I don't wanna go back Mike, in you wanna the go in there? Mike, pick yeah, topic. Give me the bucket. Let's do you want a dussy? You want the disc? I don't like calling it that. The, the I disc? hope I get a hard candy. <laughs> you can have a, I wouldn't eat that hard candy, but I don't know when this came from. What what's this? A little peppermint guy? Maybe I'll eat it. I got pull me out. Get it out. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What would your high school self say about you now? You wrote that. Ooh. You did write that. I think about this from time to time. Yeah. Do you really think? You do? Yeah, I think about if, my, if I saw myself, when I was in high school, if I saw myself now, what would I think? Yeah. And I think I was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I agree. Right? Like, we yeah. have fucking cool yeah. lives. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the very least, it would be like, you look cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I look a lot better than I did in high school. Yeah. He'd be like, yeah, "Wow, I'm yeah. glad I got down to the 190s because yeah, yeah, I was like yeah. 230 in high school." Tough. tough, tough. Tough. That's tough. Yeah. Mike, what would your high school self say about you? You're fat, <laughs> but like, damn, you're cool. Cool you though. I mean, yeah. I'm doing my, I'm doing the exact same stuff I was already doing: playing games, occasionally going to play uh, some co-ed sports. You know, making friends, having fun. I feel like I'm still the same dude. Perfect. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Great. Loose. You know, she'd probably say you dress better. Mm. Yeah. What, what, what was your style? What was the steves in high school for you? I was. Did they call it high school in the UK? What do they call it? Well, no, my uh, primary, secondary school. I was a secondary, secondary school. school. Uh, I would wear really oversized, baggy, goth emo skater clothes. Right back in though. It's in now. I know, but it was not flattering in any. It's not flattering on people now. Yeah, but uh, it's a hideous I look. I did have I did jinko. <laughs> It, I, you know what? Some people could could pull it off. I could. Uh, no, they can't. Uh, some people can. They try to. They do the big baggy pants. Right now, I have a couple friends that do baggy pants, but they're kind of high water. Are, are they Gen Z? Yeah. yeah, it's annoying. They're baggy pants, high waterish. Uh, like some of them are using a rope at some point. I think they've stopped what? that. And then they like all of their tops are oversized, but they're crop top. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, they're like crop the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're just like, they say shit that I'm like. You just said four words stringed together to make a sentence, and I don't understand a single, single one of those one fucking of them, words. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what on God means, the fuck and I don't want to fucking know what it means. On God, no cap, bro. Yeah, no, no, cap. Cap, no cap. No cap. No cap on God. No cap, bro. No cap. What does no cap mean again? No bullshit? No cap, no bullshit, no lie. Yeah. No lies. No lies detected. Yep. 
Ain't capping full. Real for real. For real for real. Come on, doggy dog. Yeah. Okay. My high school self would also be impressed that I wear jeans now. You know, throughout oh, all of high you school. You only ever wore shorts. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never wore jeans. And then I, I only wore jeans once in high school. I yeah. tried them on and I took them off right away. And so, like, nice. just to even be wearing jeans right now, pretty big deal. Didn't like the feeling? No, I don't like the feeling. They're too heavy. Mm-hmm. You tried the uh, Uniqlo jeans? Uniqlo? No, never. They, I are, see. they look like jeans, but they are pajamas. Yeah, you can get them for oh, women okay. too. They are incredible. Yeah, dude. Like, and they look hey now. Like genuinely that. like jeans. Yeah. Like, I, like I, wore, I used to wear them to the office, and they are legitimately pajamas. Yep. Might have to go get a pair of those. like that idea. I stopped wearing jeans. Really? I can't fit into them anymore. Yeah. I'm not doing that to myself. You can't fit into them anymore? You don't, no, but like, I... Or you don't, want, you don't like the constraint of the fit? Well, because I found drawstring, like... Linen sweatpants, mm-hmm. linen pants. Yeah. Uh, they look smart. Interesting. I I was told that wearing sweatpants outside of your home in America is not cool, or it's like it's not, not a good look. Uh, it was very. It now. wasn't. Joggers yeah. made it cool. At some point, someone said, "No, it's fine," and I have not stopped since That's then. Me. Yeah, I, I, have, I don't care. I, am I my wife is obsessed with the brand Aloe. A L O. Okay. They sell matching track suits. Or, oh, or sweatsuits, rather. Yeah. Ooh. They're just sweatsuits. I don't think they're crazy priced, although she doesn't tell me, so maybe they're crazy. Mm. But she, every week or two, she finds a new pair, and they, she just buys the matching pair. The yoga company? Wear them. Yeah, but they have, like, they wear, like, crew neck shirts with, like, the matching, or crew neck sweatshirts with the matching sweatpants. Yeah. But they're the old school, like, they don't have that that band of elastic oh, here. Yeah, they just yeah, have a like little a band, band yeah. like Rocky wore, you know, like 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 uh, Danny, not Danny Bonaducci, John Travolta wore in Greece, you know, that mm-hmm. kind of old school oh, sweatpants so cool. that just kind of always makes sure that it rides right up and shows just a little bit of your calf. Ooh, I respect that. That sounds it's like adorable. a good look. I got great calves. Good. It's very, very good. Yeah, I'm all about sweatpants out in... Uh, no, that's, I mean, that's the brand. Yeah, but but those are, that's not what she wears. She wears like just the sweatsuits. If you just go to crew neck sweatshirt, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I have so many. Um, yeah, it's like that uh, one over from that. I have so many games. Yeah, that's shirts. the vibe right there. But yeah, unfortunately. She just bought that one right there. I don't need yeah. anything. Ever. That's it right there. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Just cozy. Oh, oh yeah. Just that cozy. Oh, I like this. I love that. Looks that's not good. I mean? that out in public. She saw it. She, she puts on some Nikes and she just rocks it and yeah. she looks rad. If I yeah. wore this, I'd look like a bachelor that just got divorced I, and that whose wife and kids don't want to talk to him. I feel like specifically light gray uh, sweats. That's that's, that's uh, hot. Is it? Well, it's check, hot. That's yeah. Hot. Check yeah. that. She, she, I think she got the, the, the avocado ones, the one that said bestseller right there. No, over left. Left. You are the left. That one. Yep. Oh, that's the good. Vibe right there. That's good. I'm loving this, dude. I yeah. can't wait for her to get these. I yeah. feel like if you wore that, it wouldn't look like divorced uh, parent up until you entered like a Starbucks. That's when it's like, yeah. oh, this is Ben Affleck mode. Well, you have to imagine I'm having a couple of stains on this thing too. Yeah, I'm the moment you start yeah, getting stains, stains. Yeah, a couple of stains. Your hair has to be all. Oh, yeah. Mike. Your hair. Oh, you're yeah. right. Dad. Oh your no! We knew it was gonna be you. We knew it was gonna be you. Look, I'm tired. Okay. What did you do last night? You it's been a long week. Into a bar. Into a For GDC or just by yourself? My Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> you Tuesday said bar. you wouldn't expose me. You two going to Pax East as well? Yeah, Hell yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Sick. Me and Blessing oh, are fun. going tomorrow too. What yeah. fight? Uh, early in the morning. You know. Uh, yeah, now we're one, no, we're one p.m. Della. Oh, y'all are getting in late then. What? Oh this yeah. It's like nine. Nine p.m. Okay. Yeah, we're in the yeah. I'm just. We'll I see am, each other. What? Oh yeah, we yeah, will. It'll be nice. That's a threat. Yeah. We're gonna. Yeah, that's a deal. We're gonna make that happen. Talk about Nick the whole time. Oh, I hope you guys do. Yeah. I, I, I'm I, so... Uh, Definitely going to be about Andy. Je- yeah, it's going to be about Andy. I'm jealous that you're going to PAX. I'm so excited. It's I haven't been to a PAX. convention in forever. And PAX. Yeah, my first PAX as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, we're going to have a really good time together. I'm so, are you, I, let's not dox ourselves, but I assume we're all staying in the same place. Yeah, yeah I hope I so. so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. We'll, walk. we'll have some fun. We'll be walking the show floor, waving at people. Could yeah. go to the cheese bar? Is that good? cheese bar? Cheers. cheers oh cheers bar oh. where everyone knows your name yes you can it's that you're gonna that be disappointed be cool. though because it doesn't look like yeah i've never i've also never bar. seen cheers yeah. <laughs> oh really <laughs> no. wow okay, i've seen so. every episode of frazier oh my god can we talk about the new frazier is it new frazier yeah. dude they brought frazier back why he his the best the guy who played his dad died yeah. niles isn't in it niles isn't in it but Tough. his Daphne's, son is in it daphne comes back for a hot second Ross I think. Comes is it, back. Ross comes is back it like kelsey second. grammar though it's yeah. kelsey grammar as What's he doing? I, I thought he was smarter than this no he, he's also he, doesn't he also kind of suck i think he, he has lost a step as frazier but i think when you 
take away all of the supporting cast from a yeah. show, yeah. you start to realize what really made the magic of yeah. it. And it was and Niles. And I mean, Niles oh, was, was fantastic. So Niles yeah. was really, that was Niles. having Niles as the foil and having him as a secondary character really did make the magic of that. Is Maris back? Maris, I think, makes a, I think, no, Maris, Maris never actually in it, though. Nick, I always ask mm. people They this. They reference her, but they she was never actually an actor in it. You're thinking Lilith. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I always ask people this, and they always say no. But you might be because you're so into comedy. Did you watch Kelsey Grammer's sketch show? No. Ah, oh, no one knows it. Like, Is it good? It's it's got some sketches which are pretty funny, but it's okay. wild to see. He's got like, um, he, who's there's like a bunch of people. What's his? There's like a fun, one of the guys. Uh, Who's on like the panel shows in England? Um, Rob something or another. I think Zombie. No, he's he's in there. The <laughs> the woman that Chloe, I think her name is. She plays Chloe in Twenty Four. Um, Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn Rice Cup. Yeah, Rice Cup. Yeah. yeah, her. She's in it. But it's like Kelsey. She's funny. She's Google, good. I'm she's Googling good. this. I've never yeah. even Google heard it. Of Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer's sketch show is pretty funny. They've got one sketch which I really liked, which I'm not sure if it was entirely his or it was like borrowed from someone else and redone for America. But it's just like recording studio singing like uh, all the leaves are brown. Are you sure? Oh, I've seen. I've yeah. seen all the leaves. Are- Let me see this. Is that Lee Mack? Lee Mack. That's who it is. Uh, Lee Mack. Bro. Yeah, it's up Lee Mack again. He's like this a, was from 2005? Yeah, he's a, Wait, it's got Caitlin Olsen from It's Always Sunny? Oh, uh, Caitlin yeah, it, yeah, Olsen. Yeah, Caitlin Olsen. Holy shit. This is Malcolm good clip. Barrett? It lasted for maybe like a single season. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. and that was, in, that was in my phase where I was watching, where I was acquiring pretty much anything to watch. Just taking it um, in. I was Tell just, me Rumble then. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, there's pizza. Oh, you didn't get a slice of pizza? I didn't oh. get a slice of pizza. You want me to go get you a couple slices? I don't want to eat on camera. Who cares? Lucy we did. Never, I mean, we, yeah, I did. Couple. Lucy did. Give me a couple slices. But I didn't okay. have my mic next to my face. Does anyone want a slice of pizza? Well, no, no but good. do you have like no. a Diet Coke? Of course, I can go May can I you get, get a Diet one, Coke. Please. And do, and see, you. do a once around. I'm going to do a little once around. I'm going to let them know, hey, we have some fabulous guests here. You know, they got other things to do. Uh, well, we really don't. For a while, but, uh, no, I love you guys. Yeah, I love yeah, you guys, yeah. but I don't want to yeah, burn yeah. you out because I want you guys to have a show. I mean, the only thing we're doing, we're booking a flight. We're booking a flight, right? Now. Now. You got a book of flight? You got a book of flight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For packs? Y'all got to get ready. Not for packs. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. That, that's that's boring. I'm, uh, <laughs> that's taken care of ages ago. I'm going to be checking in in 35 minutes. Oh, Gail the Snail. That's who that is. Oh, man. Um, yeah, if Frazier. If, if any uh, best friends are at PAX and they see us, come find us because we're taking submissions for voicemail dump truck, which is like an agony aunt series. Mm. Okay. So yeah. if you're out there. How long are you guys there the whole time? Uh, Thursday to Sunday. Yeah, Thursday, Sunday. Thursday. Oh, that's that's the run right there. <laughs> yeah. So, that's the real thing. And also GDC cool. started on Sunday. Are you doing Comic Con at all? SDCC, yeah. I believe. Probably, yeah. Ooh, yeah we're having. We went last year. I, that was my first one. Yeah. Really? What a weird year to go. During the riot strike, it was Yeah, rough, man. that's a tough it one. It's going to be back, hopefully, in full force this time. That's why we we're... See, uh, yeah. And it's going to be nuts. Yeah, we met... We met Kelly Who. Kelly Who, oh. Jamie Lee Curtis. You met Kelly Who? Yeah. Dude, as someone who grew up on martial law, meeting Damn, Kelly bro. Who was... That's pretty cool. We introduced uh, Ed Boone to Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. How did you... How did you... Was it a live show that we had JLC no. on? No, we, no. we had... She was talking uh, about her comic. She, yeah, she was, she was working on a comic. So she was talking about that. I, Ed Boon was obviously talking about more comedy. Did you watch the Oscars? No. Mm, we caught up on this no? No. Was it from this year? Yeah. No. What, what's the drama? Well, there's no drama. It's just they, for um for best for best actor, best was supporting actor and, and actress and actress, they had all of the like five other winners come out and JLC was like st- smack dab in the middle right off oh, of the right. like, first yeah. award. It was like best supporting actor and she came out because she won for everything yeah. everywhere all at once last year. And I got to tell you, man, like yeah, I got, I got, a level of respect for that lady. Mm. She's she's JLC, got she's JLC? like legendary at this point. Yeah. Rahul Cooley, what's going on, buddy? Hi. How you doing? Welcome. You, know, you can British grab Mike's over. mic right there if you'd like. The wildest thing is yesterday I was thinking about I was like scrolling through Instagram and you popped up. I was like, I wonder what the next time I'll see Rahul will be. And I thought, oh, maybe, maybe it'll be like Game Awards, and now you're here. <laughs> I was like, oh, who could have like We always do the annual Game Awards. Yeah, Game yeah. Awards. Connect. A little bit closer. Oh, you got a, we got you got a deep throw. You got like a deep throw. Yeah. yeah, you need to put it like yeah. on your chin so you get the. Because yeah. yeah. holds it like he's doing stand up. Yeah. You were uh, holding it like this earlier. You're doing, really? Uh, Nick, doing you're doing uh, stand up. It wasn't when I was doing, doing like that. You were doing this. This is how the kids do it when they when you're doing. So this is for the seven minute set because I don't have any time. Mm. This is the 15 minute. Mm, interesting. I want to talk mm. to the crowd because I only have crowd 10 work. minutes of, minute of, of, of material. When you're doing stand up and you think you've said something funny, mm-hmm. do you do this? <laughs> yeah. Dave, yeah, the Dave Chappelle what? one was this. <laughs> I I do that, and then if there's if there's another microphone anywhere near me, I do the Dave Attell bumping mics. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Which That's everyone cool. hates. Yeah. Yeah. I, Not a good I bit. Hate, <laughs> I, I don't like it. I didn't like it. it. I didn't like it when like they Nick did it. Fly. I don't like it at all. <laughs> no, there was a couple comics that do that and they laugh at their own material and I'm like, I'm just not that funny. <laughs> I don't have the confidence, you know. God, but I think Dave Chappelle can laugh at himself. That's fine. He's Dave Chappelle. Especially right know. now. Someone else was doing. Oh, Shane Gillis had something he does with his mic. What does he do? He was doing it. And we noticed it. He doesn't do that. He does something else. Wobbler. He just freaked Kevin out. Does he throw it in the air like a battle? Thanks, buddy. That's something. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, do, are you talking about for his last special? Yeah, which was my favorite. Did you watch it? It's very good. Yeah, yeah. I thought. Jake Gillis is wild, man. I mean, it, you have a trilogy of specials that that week, and it was Chappelle, Gervais, and then Gillis, mm. and it was all Netflix, right? Yes, and that's right. You would, I would never have thought the ranking order would have been shaped. Yeah, one. yeah. Wh- who did you think was number two? Because Gervais, here's the thing about his special, and it's gonna sound crazy. The audio was terrible. I couldn't get. I couldn't barely oh. get through. It. I like for whatever reason. They put the monitors on stage so fucking loud. You know how he wears the Madonna mic instead of yeah, running? yeah. They kept, every time he'd walk in front of one of the monitors, it would echo in his mic, and I was like, "This is from a person that because I still produce a lot of comedy shows, and that was my biggest pet peeve when the audience when it sounds like shit because right. it mm-hmm. takes away from mm-hmm. comedy. Like you don't want anything, you don't want the visuals or the audio to ever take away from the joke. Sure, if something takes you out of it, I was like, I can't watch this. Having said that, I will always love Ricky Gervais. And I think he should host every award ceremony. I don't find him funny anymore. Really? Like I, I, I. Uh, he's he's, he's more. Of, he's kind moment, of an edge lord now. Yeah, yeah he he's is getting a, a little edge massive edge. The exact moment he stopped being funny to me was when he stopped working with Stephen Merchant, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm a Merchant fan, not a Gervais fan." Wow. So you you weren't a fan of Derek or or Life's no. Too Short? Idiot abroad. No. no. Oh, what about um? Carl P- Pilkington. Yeah, Carl. P- um, yeah. He was, Extras. yeah. Extras was Extras was the last thing I probably watched. Extras I was, was like, yeah, this is cool. Hilarious. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. After that, I was like, you're not doing it for me, man. Uh, no comment. Yeah, it's fine. I can't. Yeah. I'm just not really. A- we became mates. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. That's, That's awesome. Shit. Shit. Tell him I said stop being funny again. <laughs> Tam doesn't think you're funny. <laughs> so the fuck like, <laughs> <laughs> we we actually Tam. like genuinely we we like studied the office when I was when we were doing drama. Oh hell school, yeah. yeah! See, that's the thing for me is I. <sighs> We want to talk about another show. I just could never get into uh, the British yeah. Office the or British the American Office. Uh, it's because the American uh, Office is designed to be funny jokes. The British Office is designed to be as awkward it's as possible yeah. to, to the point where it becomes funny. Yes, like you can only laugh at the silence. At but also, it's got a really good love story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. The 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 Martin Freeman Lucy Davis. Yeah, you know, sweet. I think yeah. they played it really it's well. Same, it's similar when the US one, right? That Pam and I've never seen. Yeah, that Pam, Pam and Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I, I, I liked the the British handling of it. So you don't like that kind of awkwardness? No, it, which is funny because I do. Right, Wait, so I like seen Alan Partridge. <gasps> oh no! What case is that? What is that? Oh man! Jurassic Park. Back of the net. <laughs> Liquid football. So Alan is obsessed Kevin. with Alan yeah. Bartridge now. Oh, We're getting man. everyone everyone to watch. Where James and Elise is obsessed. Yeah, James and Elise. Yeah. What is that? Wait, what is that? Okay, Steve dude. Coogan. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I know it's, Steve Coogan. It's his like, he's, he, it's his character he keeps returning to mm-hmm. that he created. He was in his 20s, right, Lucy? Yeah, but hang on, hang on. Kevin, please get him up. <sighs> can we pull just, this up just on the screen, Kev? Just, to, just so Nick can see. <laughs> Okay. His comedy okay. is exactly like that first face. Yes. And that it's almost face you're seeing the blueprint yeah. for what Ricky Gervais's David Brent was. Yes. Yes. Okay. And it's it's a, a middle aged ex T V star who's not really hit their heights. And he's on regional yeah. radio, radio okay, for I like a, at, at the at the middle of the night, right? Yeah. yeah. And he, he's just very cringe. He um, has multiple autobiographies, which he writes in the first person, right? Yeah, like so, sorry, as, the character. Person, as, as, as the character. As the character. His but then, if you get the audio books, because he, he has such a voice, yeah, aha, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. he kind of does all that. Alana bought me his new book, and even like just the first page, I was laughing. At. <laughs> so he's just, never had just that a with book, a book that he writes as this character. As the yeah. character, yeah, he likes That's he's, wild. he's like staying in character. Like he he'll, he'll do like you know old my you know update on his character's life and yeah. that kind of yeah. stuff. It's, it's, it's incredible. He's it like the longest like committed to the bit yeah. in history. The, the my one of the ones that I really loved that he did was. Alan Partridge's Scissored Isles, <laughs> which is a look at uh, the British. I've not seen it. Oh, yeah, it was like a Sky, sky Wand, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, from, no like, way. 
What, 16? 16, 15, yeah. 15, 15, 16? 15, 16, yeah. You need to do a deep dive. It's, it's uh, really good. I want, I want to. I love really this. Good. I love this. Yeah. Stop getting bored. What were you guys wrong. talking about before I crashed? Uh, we were talking about Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton. <laughs> no, no comment. She's a yeah. mate. Okay, perfect. Oh, oh. No, 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 I was like, damn. This is like, this, yeah. you're going to limit a lot of subjects for us here. Uh, yeah, we were, we were going through the conspiracy on that. You want? Would you like to you pull a topic? One out the, the, the bucket of, the the bucket of the topics? Dussie? Is this your first experience with the Dussie? Uh, second, Flanagan has one. Mm. Oh. We're sticking our hands in it. Just in his, on his shelf. He's a Dussie pro. Oh. There's well, also there's, sweets there's in there. There's some candy in there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't eat them. You keep saying that. Oh, Poison. wow. Italians. <laughs> <laughs> what about them? What about them? You know what I mean? <laughs> How do we feel about them? What, uh, this could go really wrong. It could absolutely. It could, yeah. Do we need them? Too many of them. Do we need them? Too many of them? Not enough of them? I worry about this sometimes. Mm. Do? Yeah. About the lack of Italians? There's not a lot of Italians uh, left. Uh, there isn't? Mm, not that I know of. I guess left? Mario would be a... A good theme. Ma- like Mario? As far as Mario? Italians and video games. Sure. What's wh- how's the representation go- representation? Ezio had a too much. Ezio. Nice. Not, Played not by Ezio, yeah. Roger Craig Smith. Not an Italian. Not Italian. Most Italian man I've ever met. Yeah. 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 I don't think it's canon, but I feel like Max Payne's Italian American. I can feel that. Like half mm-hmm. Italian, half really? Irish. Yeah. I, I would have thought. Yeah, Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Irish. Both I would have thought. Yeah. yeah. Also, Mike Michael from. Oh, is he Irish? From GTA. In GTA Five. He, if, gonna, but he acted like an Italian. I'm gonna Google yeah. Italian video so game character. I feel like he should be Italian. Huh. Here's why. Here's why I asked this question because you guys, you know, this is a good. This is a good group to float this to. Where do you come down on Adam Driver continuing to play an Italian and He's doing the, and doing the twice, accent right? twice, Wait, now, twice in a row? One, the, the he did Ferrari and then he did Ferrari. Gucci, uh, Versace, no, uh, Gucci, House of, House House of, of Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tommy and, Vissetti. Oh yeah, Tommy Vissetti, Ray yeah. Liotta. Yep, yep, yep. Ray Liotta's great. Yeah. You guys Actually, got great representation. Yeah. Too much? Should we back it off? Too much. All of Mafia. Yeah. Every, Mafia. Everyone <laughs> in Mafia. Fair. Fair. Um, There's a, a theme, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Except Mario. <laughs> you said that. Uh, you put up a <laughs> Mafia. I mean, this is, you know, that's the problem. Is it art imitating life or life <laughs> imitating art? We don't know. We don't Maestro know. from Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> that's not a good He's character. He's doing some damage in there. I don't like uh, that character. Leon from Dead or Alive. This is the problem with Italians. Oh. Right? We're just always known for oh, being yeah. mafia. Street Fighter has Rose. She's Italian. Oh, you got the Rocky games. Yeah. There was Rocky games. Yeah, there was one that was brilliant. Rocky. Um... The VR one? Oh, no. It was on the Xbox. I got it like on launch and you can like mm. Ivan Drago, Club of Lang. You could be everyone. Oh, It was pretty, pretty damn cool, good. Actually. That's pretty cool. Someone... Yeah, Rocky's pretty much our only popular. But Rocky and, and Mario are our only positive characters that we have as representation. Everyone else yeah, is usually good. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, he's an assassin. The Godfather. He's, cool. he's also an assassin. You will have Waluigi. like why can't there, why can't we just be like a good lawyer yeah. once? You know why can't there be a lawyer? Oh, that, like, my cousin Vinny. Yeah. I'll see. Wait, oh, okay. Wait, I, okay. I, I, I thought we were talking it. about video games here. I was like, what was the My Cousin Video Game? No, I was talking about just in, in media in, in media. general. Oh, okay. Oh, media in um, general. Oh, you got plenty like, of time. All of Sopranos. Christopher Columbus. Again, again. Oh. Okay, well, um, yeah, there's a problem. Sopranos. Oh, Tony Soprano, not exactly no? the, the role know. model you want for your children growing up. Mm. Although I did learn a lot about being Italian from so, Tony Soprano. Uh, Monica Bellucci. She's great. In yeah, anything. Yeah. In yep. pretty yeah, much yeah. anything. Or just yeah. Monica Bellucci in general. Yeah. Oh, Marissa she's, Tomei. She's dating, uh, oh, Marissa Tomei, Tomei, of course. Is, oh, it, Tomei. is it Monica Bellucci who's dating Tim Burton? Is she? Yes. So I like that. Yeah, I like that I think couple. You're right. Yeah. What a pair. I I uh, no because if I'm being honest, and again, granted, these mm-hmm. are people's lives. You can do what you got to do. Shout out, chat. Of course. Why did I miss that? Danny Larusso, man, Karate Kid. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah, got to yeah, be yeah. the goat. He's one of the reasons why I started martial arts Penguin. as a child and then quit because it's too hard. He's My Danny, sister was the same. Danny DeVito is Italian, right? Yeah, I yeah. believe so, but we don't claim him because he's so short. He's so... Don't do this. Don't. No. don't... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Italian's wait. notoriously tall. We're not. <laughs> tall. We're not. We're... <laughs> what makes sense? Wait, 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 wait. We are short. Okay. <laughs> you got to put your foot up on the monitor too. That's what you got to do. You got to put your foot up on the monitor. Oh, just. <laughs> oh. Uh. Range of topics that have happened. Well, yeah, 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 Kevin, yeah. do you want to pull a topic out of the bucket? You uh, want to put your hand on the bucket and pull a topic? Be. This is a fun day. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kevin's wait, wearing wait, an wait, amazing Kevin, itchy Kevin, and scratchy t-shirt. Oh, it's great. Oh, no, oh yeah. yeah. Put it in the. Put your hand in there, Kevin. Yes, he he's our guest. Oof. Yeah, you stuffed that in there. You didn't even. <laughs> yeah, no, I went all the way in. <laughs> it's what he wanted. Let's see. What do we? Let's see. Here. Yeah. 
Should Nick take tea? How oh, we already did this. We already oh, did you know, this. We didn't pull up. Should I take testosterone? What do you think? We can come do back. Do I need it? Yeah, you wait, don't need it. Take testosterone. For what? Get buff. Get, get buff. <laughs> I think you're good, bro. You think, <laughs> yeah, listen. I think you're all right. Just mouth. stop eating fucking pizza. <laughs> no, you don't even need to stop eating pizza. You look good. Yeah, but he like has all this like self yeah, but like boxes you, and if shit. You have self like that will go away when you just start exercising. Yeah, but you you also lost like a tremendous amount of weight. You know, yeah, but that, you look, I like, can say from experience then. Like mm-hmm. it's it's once you start exercising, you will genuinely see your body in a different way, even if it hasn't changed. But we're very. You don't want to exercise. You just want to go straight to the tea. No, but exercising being like walking down the. But road. I think I don't think you could just take testosterone. No, you have to gym. actually no. exercise. Otherwise, you just your head. You'll end up on. Yeah. Foren- <laughs> I think you just end up on like, like forensic like, files. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mike wants to do it. Mike just played a game over there. Okay, so I think unanimously, I'm not going on. No, tea. good. Yeah, I don't. Do think you want to go on tea? <laughs> no, I, get, no. I think we no. should all go on e. On Ex- on e. Estrogen? Estrogen? No, you know what? You know what? I can't. Why? Because um, I oh, have oh, high oh, cholesterol. Oh, shit. And so I have to take pills and they change. Well, you have high cholesterol? It's genetic. Yeah, it's got to be, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, and it changes. Well, I, I can't have grapefruit and shit like that. And uh, when I was talking about birth control, they were like, you can't take, um, you can only do progesterone only because estrogen will fuck with you. Really? Yeah, dude. Huh. This is why I women mean, shouldn't pay taxes. And this and this is why I should <laughs> find out where the fuck my OBGYN abandoned Vanished me. Off to <laughs> you might want to find a new one. Yeah, you might want to get a second opinion on that, bad boy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was when I was sixteen, so yeah. See, if, if you're the second person, actually, with high last cholesterol, two weeks, with high cholesterol, you just who is called, fit. You just said that bad boy, and yeah. that's the final weirdest <laughs> thing. You said you might want to get a second opinion on that bad boy <laughs> <laughs> about an OBGYN. <laughs> And I just, I don't know why everyone just <laughs> rolled right past that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that what he was referring to? <laughs> That's what I thought he said. <laughs> he was referring to <laughs> the general area in OBGYN <laughs> exams. <laughs> Man, well, that's the kind of shit that I would say. That's probably why she abandoned me. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you hey, didn't make it awkward for bad her. boy. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this is interesting. No, you're the second person to, uh, in their, like, young person to tell me they, they pop right. Um, one of my buddies that I actually, well, I mean, work out with, of all topics. Oh, you do work out? I do work out, yeah. I yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I, uh, but he's super fit, like, Ultra athlete, and he's like, "Yeah, I have high cholesterol." No, my like, my fuck? my blood is pate, basically. Yeah. Um, oh, pate. Sorry, yeah. Pate. I was like, "Who's pate?" pate. Kevin, can you bring up bring pate up bring up the words off. we were talking about earlier? I want to ask these. Um, I want to ask them to, how they say. These I went things. to a doctor one time, and fuck, I was I like, "Don't after- have memory for that." Yeah, I can't. You remember? I can't read lips. Laid. I'll slack it to you. Rose of okay. chumney. Uh, I went to a doctor one time, and it was like after I had been working out. Oh, like, I got it now. Intensively for a long time and eating like almost perfectly and um i went to the doctor and they were like you're about to get diabetes oh i was like yeah. what and they were you're like pre-diabetic. you need to change your lifestyle i was like what What do i do and they were like you need to eat better and exercise <sighs> i was like what are you talking about i was already doing um, that what do i do now and he was like good luck man <laughs> so, i've okay, not great. been to so, a like, doctor i'm constantly like apparently flirting with getting diabetes type two right yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. see i've not gone to a doctor for about 15 years. Mate, what? You gotta take that. Mate. Right? And any pains Mate. I get, I just sort of like, through. I just uh, wait Mike till they go. Mike is pointing at himself. No. What, like that. what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm terrified of what they're going to be. They're going to be like, you know you got three weeks to live, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you'd come in a year ago, we could have caught this. I get, a phys- I, I get a physical every year. I, I'm the same thing. I didn't go to the doctor for 10 years. My wife made me go. She's like, oh, you're going to die. I went in there, healthier than she is. Blood work wise, yeah. Or well, maybe I will go in then. Yeah. 50, no, 50. but that just scared me because if you were nearly diabetes, then I'm riddled with it. No, I, I don't know what it caused it. Because it didn't make any <laughs> sense. Even the doctor was like, I don't know what to tell you, man. If it happens, we'll have to like just mitigate it. Lose or, a like, foot. Yeah, lose a foot or something. I mean, a good way to lose weight. Exactly. <laughs> Five pounds right The number there. definitely goes down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that joke. Uh, how do you guys say this word? Jaguar. 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 What do you go? Jaguar. 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 No, I say Jaguar. Jaguar. Why are you giving me the thing? Because you're always one that says I'm saying it incorrectly. Yeah, but they're from a different place. That they're from a better place. I guess so. Yeah. We what a I better language. place. The word I can't take from you lot. Do the other one, Kevin. The is, other one that's is, the cat. Is Craig. 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 Is what? Craig. Is Craig. The, one, man. the name Craig? Craig. Yeah, you say Craig. 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 I say Craig. 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 No. Craig. How am I saying it? Am I saying it in Craig? A I G Craig. You Craig. say it like Greg with a C. 
Okay, Craig. Americans say Craig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, okay, well, here's let's start. Let's start really getting into this. What First of all, how do you say this word? Puma. 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 Oh, you said it. You said it. American. You said Puma. Abu says yeah, said Puma. What is the name of the last actor to play Bond? Daniel Craig. Craig. Oh, Daniel, Daniel Craig. Craig. Daniel Craig. No, it's too, why there, you put two vowels next to each other. I'm saying one of them. It's I'm Craig. not saying both of them. Craig. Side note: There's another topic in here. Wait, no, hold on Daniel a second. Okay. They, they want to pronounce all the oh, letters. Brilliant. But so, okay. what? How do you say this? Yasmin Oregano. Herbs. Firstly, herbs. you say herbs. Herbs. You say herbs. We say herbs. Again, pronouncing or, a letter. You or, yeah. 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 No one how do you, how are you either. saying that? You say herbs. Herbs. Jasmine. herbs. Jasmine. Hey, Jasmine's Jasmine. the same. Jasmine. Yeah. You say oregano. Yeah. I would say oregano. Oregano. Say oregano. Get the fuck out. That's an yeah, Italian yeah. word right there, though. <laughs> that one I could say. Oregano. You're saying it wrong. Rosemary? Rosemary. 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 Yeah. Lavender. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Lavinda? I say lavender. lavender. I feel like lavender. we say all of these. That one's redhead and then basil. Ed Sheeran. Basil. Oh, ba basil. 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 Faulty. Basil. That's because basil ba it's cause people are named basil in the UK. And it's a yeah, basil name. faulty. Yeah. Faulty. Basil Foley? You should Foley? watch Faulty Towers. Yeah. You, you would, would, love you would Faulty actually Towers. It's aged. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. Oh, it's that's oh, that. Oh, yeah, no. no. It's aged. Yeah, don't you hate that? Shit with Manuel. <laughs> don't you fucking hate that? Uh, don't you hate that? You, I have all these shows and all these movies that I love, and you have to then go like, wait, can I recommend this? Yeah. Or is this going to get yeah. me into yeah. trouble? Is but that's happening thing? with like, things five years old. Do I know? Yeah. It's YouTube, wild. man. I know? Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. I mean, I'll, I'll, my own talk. podcasts. I was talking. Oh, I mean, shit. Well, Wait, go back and watch our first back. podcast. Stuff I said last week. <laughs> well, I was watching. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really heavy into like this, the Suits era of television right mm. now because Suits oh, got still. me back into it. Oh, yeah, we, we've heard about yeah, the Suits. We've era. Heard about Super suits. Into it, right? <laughs> suits, Monk, all these things, and it's so wild to watch even the shows that were like ten years old. And you're like, oof. But you oh, know what? that's you not see, how we did that anymore. Some SVU shit. You know, oh, I oh know there that. are some clips of You know which one I watched of that era that I really enjoyed that I now no longer even recognize? Mm. Shark. Shark? Did you ever watch Shark? No. Who put oh, a shark? With, um, Tim Thingy from. What's his name? Uh, what's his name who played uh, Hades in Hercules? Oh, James Woods. He plays a lawyer in it. Mm. And yeah. it's like that kind of house style thing. And oh. it was really good for a bit. But like now, J James was very quickly outed himself yeah. as being a top 10 wrong. And so, oh, yeah. James uh, was very hardcore. Yeah. Right. yeah. Very um, hard, right? The one I'm thinking of is the guy who was in Reservoir Dogs. And it was uh, Lie to Me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. <gasps> oh, Tim Roth? Yes. Yeah. I, I, have, I think I watched that like once. I think was only I've never seen Suits though. It was like it had a massive resurgence, right, on Netflix. Yeah. Yes, I. Nick's fault. I was a really? fan of Suits. <laughs> yeah. I will take a little credit for this. Any, Not uh, a lot. Any any good representation in there for Italians? Uh, no. We're mostly just bad guys. British royalty though, Meghan Markle. Oh, you course. have Meghan Markle in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's awesome in it. Imagine Harry sitting at the TV watching Suits, going, "She's hot." Oh no! I yeah. bet you it was more like Clapping he likes someone else. Oh, right. That's usually the way it is. You're like. Yeah. That's the hot one, and then you date the yeah. one that you never thought was hot, mm. <laughs> and then you re you retcon it. And you go, I always fancied her. Yeah. Oh, that's not how it works for me. I would just date whichever one wanted to go out with me. <laughs> that's usually that how I work. I was I, I was I've always been most attracted to women who are attracted to me. But I digress. That is a good argument why you should take some tea. Yeah. I, yeah. I, like that's what I'm talking about. Like, do you if think like tea. real talk? How much sexier would I be if I was five feet whiter? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin doesn't think we're gonna do this, but I've been putting tea in his in his breakfast cereal for the last two weeks. We're oh my god, that makes so much sense. Let's fucking go. That's why he smacked me in the face. Yeah, you smacked your ass, smacked your face. <laughs> told you don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> that you ever watch, uh, pushing daisies? Uh, no, I never saw that. Such a good show. Yeah. Such a good show. Uh, Wait, going days. back to Gervais, did you ever watch the show that he did on HBO? I bounced out after extras on HBO. Yeah, he did a show after extras. That w came to HBO and it was about his wife dying. Oh, oh no, that's was, Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh Netflix. It was a Netflix. Yeah, yeah, okay. Netflix. It was Netflix. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. I, 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 I really liked that. Holy shit, yeah. that show was sad. I watched it with my wife and it was one of those things where we were just like, after every episode, we just got a little bit closer. I was like, you better. Mm. I, I mean, like you were still two feet like after life. You better never fucking die. <laughs> okay. So our plan now is to die at the exact same moment. You know, uh, my granddad had a neighbor and his wife. His wife died, and then the guy died like ten minutes later. That's from gonna a, be me. from a broken heart. That's but be but me one of them still had to go first. That happened to my aunt and uncle. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know a few people that. Yeah, my uncle passed, and you could tell my aunt had been mm. with him since. She, I, yeah, been yeah. you can you can see like that they've just years, lost the They're done. Yeah, she's yeah. gone in three months. Yeah. I want to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna notebook it. Well, without the memory. I I would live. You're gonna live. I would live. Is there pity pity sex and that? A widower. That was like on midnight mass. 
that's why they, Mike did they're that. It, yeah. Yeah. They got yeah. all of Tumblr mm-hmm. excited. It did, yeah. A, lot. <laughs> a widower. Yes. A sexy widower. But, oh, I was <laughs> sexy gonna, tall widower. I was gonna say, Especially if you have a kid and you're a widower. I don't have any dad. kids. But, so I have to get a kid then. No, you're still widower. Still get cool. Get a kid. Animal. Get a kid. Acquire a child. <laughs> no, no, no. But the thing, I was like, I was thinking. Some kid. <laughs> you what are you doing right now? You're mine now. Widow. Sexy but, widow. But I don't black, know if there's black sexy. widow. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, dude. You like pulling up to the house, open the door. You got that frilly thing on. My, you're wearing all black. Yeah, my husband. My husband passed recently. You know that's, that's like scary, I mean, intimidating. That I would. Sexy. I'd be freaky. Like you're gonna kid. Like steal a kidney. I would never eat the food you gave me. Yeah, no chance. What? You're going to poison me. I've watched yeah. too much Forensic Files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know oh. that widow. I don't know if widow is as sexy as widower. No, no, no. They're saying widower, sexier. Yeah. But black widow, sexier for, than that. Uh, oh, okay. Whereas like like divorcee. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, male, like divorcee. Not as sexy as no. female divorcee. Yeah. Divorcee. 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 <laughs> but I feel like widower, and here's why, right? Because what's the common misconception about men? We don't know how to commit. But, and a we, but a widower committed so hard. You know he can. And he went the <laughs> fucking know distance, right? Committed. Like not only did I commit, but I put I put that lady in the ground. You know what I mean? I married her. Married her to death. I'm still alive. She's yeah. Dead. Fucking a man. Next up. Next up. Yep. No kids but, for me though. No. Nope. You guys want kids? Uh, I'll, th- I'll think about it. You don't have to do it now. Uh, you don't have to do it now. No. You put you, you put them on the spot a little bit. Yeah. I, I mean, like I, I have I have thought about it in the past. Yeah, I think I could. I probably would. Yeah, I probably will. I got two cats. So. That's the thing. I, I do also have a cat, and I'm like, it's pretty good cat. Pretty good. But I think I will probably have a kid. Yeah. You think it's all because because we have awesome lives that we don't. Yeah. Have no, no, no. Lives. I've yes. I've thought about this. Yeah. I'm like, my life is cool mm. as shit. But also, <laughs> this this country makes it prohibitively. Oh, you can't have healthcare here. Child. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. I've had too many near misses. On my by myself in the eye, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't hit the spot. Um, it, I can't get anyone pregnant. No, I my my thing is is I've I've messed up so many times. There's no way I wouldn't have killed a kid. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I thought I thought Until you were like that everyone thought you almost yeah, had multiple. Yeah, I yeah, thought we you were like I, so I, many I pregnancy scares in your past. Like, you like, there's so many near misses. You mean you're a child? Oh my child, god, I forgot yeah. to pick up the dog yeah. from the then. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm, there's no way yeah, I'm ready to to somehow you burnt toast and you're like, I'm never gonna. Also, I I don't want to raise a little actor nepo baby. Why not? It's it's the rage though. That'd be so oh, cool. But it's gonna be so much easier for them, you know what I mean, than it was for you. And, I'll and then and then, but no, 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 no. So? Yeah. But then them. they get rich and famous. They keep you in the life. You become when they turn to directing, that's, that's and the, I don't want cast that. you. Yeah. What are you talking? What are you talking about? Oh, I'd rather. You know what? I'd rather cool, go back to. Do you know what's London cool? And, and it, never. And never it's it really cool when you find a you discover or you see a really cool good actor. And then you're like, okay, this person's name is John David Washington. Yeah. And then eventually you realize, oh, that's Denzel Washington's son. So an actor who has got like a different name from their parents and like is good, that's awesome. Because then it reflects on you even better. Because you're like, oh, yeah. Like Joe Hill is being Stephen King's kid. Exactly. Well, I always see the name changes like... Look at you trying to hide your Yeah, privilege. look at you trying to hide yeah, it, you yeah. I wouldn't do it. How hard was it to if get to that uh, school? If my last name was Scorsese, uh, I'm fucking I mean, Kiva Scorsese. I, I, I should... I'm not doing Nicolas Cage, right? Or Coppola, rather. I'm, I'm yeah, doing Nicolas Coppola. Nicolas Cage Coppola. is cool, though. Nah, but I'm trained. <laughs> I have no talent. It's true. So I, I need every leg up I can get in this Absolutely. industry. So change your, you, uh, from now on, your stand-up's Nick Chappelle. <laughs> Isn't they believe it? Right. You think, you oh, yeah, you got, it. you got it. I think he's older than Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> it might be his child. We don't, wait, know. Wait. We don't know. If we were all Nepo babies, what mm-hmm. would we be? I'd what, be, a, I'd be a Nepo baby oh lawyer. God. That's a great question. Mm, yeah. Wait, both my, would both you be my a lawyer? Are, so, like, oh, in, in, uh, I so both my parents are lawyers. law. So I would be I'd be a hotshot lawyer. With high cholesterol. Yeah. Yeah, dude. And, and high blood pressure. <laughs> M I A O B G Y N. Maybe, maybe she's dead. We don't know. I would be, I would be the son of a bureaucrat. My dad worked for the county of Orange for a very long time, so I would just be. That would be my nepo babiness. I'd go basically be setting uh, healthcare policy and trying to get uh, housing for homeless and things like that. That's what I would be doing. That's cool. I'd be yeah. the uh, son of a dinner lady. <laughs> oh really? What? <laughs> what's, a, lady. what's a dinner lady? K- K- canteen at school. Yeah. yeah. No, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what oh, my that's mom awesome. does. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. She, oh, I mean, she does it for like. A couple of hours every day goes yeah. and helps them. Oh, yeah, nice. And that's it. That's what I see when I when I eventually retire and or uh, they kick me off the podcast. I just want to run a Target. 
I want to do something simple like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty. Cool. That doesn't work at Target. So cool. No, I. Well, I'll well, start. Well, I'll work there first, and then work my way up. Of course, because I'm so naturally talented. I feel like um, you'll climb the Target uh, ranks. No, no, no. My mum uh, volunteers right. at the cat and dog shelter. Oh, nice. That's really yeah. cool. Well. No, does she keep bringing down home cats and dogs? Yeah, she tried, but she's um she gave them back. Yeah, that's that means you got to work at the shelter. You can't get higher on your own supply. Yeah, yeah. You can't be yeah, doing yeah. shit like that. But one time she did paint the fence. Um, Dalmatian colored? No, 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 no. She she painted spots. It, she painted it blue and yellow, and I said, "Oh, is that in support of you know Ukraine?" And she said, "No, it's just because they're the colors that dogs could see." <laughs> I mean, it does kill two birds with one stone, like though. That's kind of nice. And looking at it. your mom rocks, dude. <laughs> Well. She's a little batty, but she rocks. <laughs> That's awesome. What would you be if you were a Nepo baby? If I followed my dad's footsteps, I'd work for the London Underground. My dad was an that- electrical engineer. Oh, that's cool. But it wasn't like, it sounds more impressive than it was. He says he designed the lights or the rail system, or he worked on one of the new- The rail system? I don't what? know. That's <laughs> that's that's pretty he did not grow up in the house of a no, man no. Who, dis- who who designed the Piccadilly the line. Oh my God. So I'm sure he, that's been I, I, I could see like some part of it. Like There was something he did. He worked, he basically, yeah, he worked in an office. He was he was an electrical okay. engineer and, and my mum worked for uh, the council tax. Oh, Tax doesn't have to be taxing. Yeah, I hear. Yeah, I, but I did I follow it up so I, I did. My I already was a nepo baby when I was at drama school. Um, I couldn't. I was eighteen and I needed money, and there was a a, a position open up in our office to just like work in the mailroom. Uh, and me. oh, did you? I do worked that? in multiple law firms in as, the in the mailroom. Child, I was on the phones. I was in the um, in the basement. Job. Like the temp, temp type jobs and stuff. Mm. Like, yeah, I did. So what happened was I got an interview for the mail job and I rizzed my way into the same job my mum did <laughs> at 18. <laughs> so then I like had to buy suits and now I was d- filing council taxes and I was taking people to court. <laughs> but I'm 18. <laughs> I have no interest in staying there. Yeah. I'm doing drama. I'm putting on Henry V that night. Yeah. I'd come in in the morning with makeup still on and fall asleep at my desk and my mum could see me from across the room just passed <laughs> out. She's like, oh! I was a complete Nepo baby. <laughs> now, I stayed there for one year. Have you thought about going back to that career ever? It's tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a pretty good cool I, I was more of a rock star celebrity in accounting. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you were good at it. You're you went back in an hour, it would be I, I, The You're second year I left, I became a contractor, which was... Bit, I made more money than my mum, <laughs> and I was going to different boroughs like Putney and stuff like that, and like I was making more money than I'd ever made, yeah. uh, filing tax, like doing their systems. I, I was killing it, and then I, I was in my like eighteen nineties, so I was clubbing. Mm. So I, I was like, it was the only time I like could buy everyone drinks. Mm. We're going all to, to all the best clubs in London, and then I, I dropped out because I couldn't do auditions. It, I couldn't get time off. Yeah. So I, it's a real job. Yeah, so I yeah, dropped out. Job. I worked part-time in retail again. and That's what you got to do. Yeah, yeah, and I had no money. Again. Where'd you work in retail? I work, I've worked in a few. I worked at um, Curry's. Oh. Oh. That's an electronic Pre- store, not Pre- an Indian restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an Indian restaurant. Free oh. <laughs> PC World. Curry's. Yeah. Um, just, just, of course I did. Yeah, obviously. Tam worked there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was this like a Fry's Electronics? Yeah. I worked at uh, like Best basically Buy? the same thing. I worked at Sunday Market. Where I was, I was uh, actually I these names, these companies, like you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, like, they don't sell Curry Sunday Market. <laughs> Is it, you're not buying groceries. What do they sell there? Oh, cars. Yeah, yeah. they sell cars at <laughs> Sunday Market. That makes yeah. sense. I mean, like, I worked at Sunday Market. I can't say what I did because I probably you get, arrested. get arrested for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. Were. But did you rob the place a lot? <laughs> oh, look, everyone. Was it stuff that fell off the back of a truck? Uh, you're in America. They can't off. get you. There's no extradition. I think here. you're fine. What's the um, statute limitations? I mean, let's years. not get. Let's, yeah, let's not. Let's yeah. not. <laughs> you trafficking? Uh, I work there. I also work for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I work for Primark. Primark was. Primark. I did. Uh, Let me station. guess what they do. Oh. Oh, you did Game Station. <laughs> I worked at a video game shop. How was that? that? You know what? Because you was, used to work at. Game. I look back I at, at that it game, now. Yeah. I look back at it now and. A little closer. A little closer. I. It yeah. was one of the most toxic environments I've ever worked in. No, I don't Like, mm. uh, if, if I had social media, I could, like, if I tweeted one of the things the manager did to us. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ready? we've been summoned. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay. We're going to say bye to Tamalifu. Bye, bye. 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 I once, uh, I once traded in a copy of Need for Speed on the PSP, and it had a used condom in it. <laughs> in between pages. That's how Tam leaves the... 
<coughs> bye, y'all. All right, bye. We'll see bye. you in a little bit. I'm going to give you a little bit more space, big dog. And also, thank you for joining us. Oh, Good to see you. my pleasure, yeah. What have you been up to at GDC? Uh, I only got in... Oh, we, oh, Tam. Oh, they left the door open. Oh, okay, there. I can close it. It also it doesn't pick up. Really? Yeah, these mics are... Oh, that's why it's going to be. All, he's got, yeah, he's got a he's got a compression on this bad. Uh, it's like, gotcha, gotcha. He'll hear your blink, but it won't hear your shoes, so to speak. Um, yeah, I only got in uh, last night, and then I'm just there to um, to see the awards tonight, I guess. The yep. award show, and then I'm out tomorrow morning. Oh, nice. I'm off to Atlanta. Oh, uh, what are you doing in Atlanta? What are you shooting? Movie. Nice. What movie? Are you Can't say. Okay. I'll tell you when we're not recording. I knew, I knew we were going to get to that. I like, yeah. I like I, to just put it in the Unless you can mute and I can do that. No, don't do that. I don't yeah, want to yeah, get you in trouble. Oh, okay. I'm, 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 I'm terrible not, at remembering what I can and can't say. Sure. So if you tell me, I will bring that up. The worst thing accident. that happens in the office is sometimes Tim will stand up and be like, Don't yeah, talk don't, about don't, this don't thing. Don't mention Alana. this. Oh! Ew. Hey, hey! Hello! And then it's just me and Nick are just fucked. Oh, okay. I won't tell you then. I'll tell you later. Would you like to have a seat and hang out with us for a little bit? Can we uh, address the Elden Ring jacket that I love? That is amazing. Elden Ring map. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> this is you're so you're so on oh, trend shit. right now because everyone I know that's cool is wearing sort of like like uh, uh, hunter clothing. You know, like clothing that would like match when you go hunting. Interesting. That's the thing, that's and that's what thing. I thought you had on. I was like, Alana's going. She's gonna you go shoot me. some I, deer I, later. I goddamn love to hunt. I love it. My God, can't get enough. Um, I came in here to say that I have to leave because I have a meeting. Okay. Rahul, would you like to come with me? You could stay. You don't have to come with you me. You can do either way. Where's your meet? What? What? what you gonna go back to the hotel? I work. Yeah. Till what? What time? I I just work. It's a while. <laughs> I'll, I'll chill. Yeah, okay. I'll chill. I'll just get an Uber back. Um, came in here to get complimented uh, about my jacket. It looks amazing. Thank you so much. It looks very um, warm as well. Great time. Uh, I'm hosting the GDC Awards tonight. A little closer, a little closer. This close? Yeah, this yeah. is like, really like close. Sports, we had sports, to, we had to, sports commentary. We had to cut him down because everyone's shenanigans outside. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. So uh, Twitch.tv slash GDC around 7.30. We'll, I'll be there. You come hang out. All right. All right. Good Soon to see you. Good catching up. Yeah. Glad sorry. we got a moment. I have to leave so fast. I, I, I won, though. Oh, did you? Is that a spoiler? Yeah. Shit. I, I didn't. Um, anyone could have. Didn't won. even know what you, they, what you were doing. So we just stopped Great. talking. Now, granted, we only Great. do one game show, so it's not no, that hard. No, it wasn't it. that. It's not that hard. You fucked it up. It was the Mario Kart race. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It could have been anything. That's perfect. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. Fucking Nick. <laughs> see, I can't keep a secret. Yeah, I know. I don't have it in me. I don't you see have what it happens? Me. You see what happens? We're like, hey, Nick, don't say anything. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't tell you what film. <laughs> nah, bad. <laughs> tell me later. We'll tell you. Tell me off air because I want to catch up. I haven't. I don't think I've seen you in a while. It's been a minute. It's been a few years. I think everyone gets to come yeah. party with you in LA and do things like that. But I have it's to true. I, I well, I used to see you a lot because I'd always drive through San Fran twice a year. Yes, uh, coming back from from the because we'd have to drive to right. to, to Van and um, yeah, I it obviously don't do that anymore. Um, so I haven't been to San Fran in a very long time. Yeah, it feels like. Well, congratulations on all your success, by the way. Oh, all thank the Netflix you. Stuff is incredible. Oh, cheers, Nick. I am. Uh, it's wild to be watching something that you're in. And be like, he's really good. And then every single time you come on screen, I go, it's my buddy right here. <laughs> to my wife. And she's it like, I know, really, Nick. It is really she goes, I know, cool. Nick. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, yeah. Well, you guys were there at the very beginning. Like, Greg obviously mentioned, like, I met Greg at Comic Con in 2000, uh, this year, yeah, 2014, 10 years ago this year. Um, uh, and I had just done a pilot of iZombie. Yep. But I was. I was aware of Greg and beyond and all of the stuff. And, and then I think I came on with you guys in 2016. Yeah. You came to, I think you came to the old the house, the house. Yeah. 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 Bring Colin to Tim old was house. saying yeah. I, I'm, I, I, I've been to all three. You have, yeah. you've yeah. done the hat trick now. Yeah. You've yeah, done yeah. podcasting this with is, us now at all three studios. Yeah. This place is incredible. This um, is a slight upgrade. <laughs> I will say it's a little bit uh, of an upgrade mostly because we have air conditioning. If I'm being honest, that's probably the number and two Which bathrooms. Also, wasn't like easy to sort out. We had challenges with setting up. We're still place. working on it. Yeah, it's no, we're good now. It makes a little bit of noise, but we're good. Hey, it sounds like a bong every once in a while. But who doesn't love a water bong every yeah. once in a while? Yeah, no, yeah. this place is gorgeous, honestly. Thanks, and um, yeah, same, same, like a yeah from 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 that point when I just done like one season of iZombie and I was with you guys to like where. I, 
I am today, obviously, thanks to a lot of the Flanagan stuff and the games. You know, I don't think we've ever caught up on this. How did you get linked up with Mike Flanagan? Like, how did that audition? Was it just a straight up audition? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, though, because you lucked into. I mean, not lucked into. You're very no. I did luck. Yeah. No, 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 no. There's a lot of luck. No, no, no. But man, what a what a gift that keeps on giving. Fun Dude. fucking series. I'm so I'm so, like I on some level get to work with humans that I love every single day and that's amazing. Mm. You get to do it on an elevated level and then they bring the same people back. Yeah. It's wild. And that's yeah. so that's like that doesn't happen. It's like that's like yours that series and then what's the uh FX series that they do the anthology series where they bring Oh, the, American, American Horror Story. Horror Story right. Yeah, yeah, Ryan Murphy. Which is cool, but like is that yeah. is it just a shorthand now when you all come back? Oh, y yeah. I mean I don't mean to turn this into an interview, by the way. No, 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 it's okay. You know what, dude? I've not done press or interviews. Like, I didn't do anything for Russia because of the strikes. Right. Oh, right. I didn't do anything for Mass because I was on a, another show and they wouldn't let me do press. Wait, I didn't do anything on for Bly Manor. Sorry? Wait, what were you on? You were, you were shooting another show? I was shooting a show for Hulu. Oh, okay. And they wouldn't let me do... What did you shoot for Hulu? It was a, some murder mystery show that came out a couple of weeks ago. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. No, but, but no, nah, it's fine. Well, come on, okay. <laughs> You're like, no, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> no, that's good. Uh, but <laughs> I've never done press, so like, I rarely get to talk about the, that period of my life. I did way more press for I Zombie. Really? As soon as I've been with Flanagan, it's just been the luck of the draw, like Bly Manor. Well, they're so popular, it's like, uh, we don't well, talk it, about it. It's no, it was, it was, it was, it, honestly, it was in 2020 we, Bly Manor came out we had to do the first virtual press junkets because of COVID mm -hmm. and they were telling the cast like okay this is the date sorted for the press junket and then Mike and Trevor came up to me and like, we're really sorry you're working that day that's you've got a lot of sheriff stuff to do mm -hmm. so you can't do the press and at first I was like oh it's because I swear on my tweets and stuff mm -hmm. they're like finding a way to, yeah 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 because I like to use the you can tell people how much you love Rick and <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but um so they were like, but when Mask comes out, we got you. I was like, cool. Next year, Mask is coming, and then the new show wouldn't let me. And then when Usher, they were like, on Usher, you're gonna, we're gonna do a press tour. Finally, you can talk about all of the stuff. Whatever you want. And it was the SAG strikes. So I've never spoken about it. Dude. But, but I met, I met Mike. Um, I, I literally just, I got I lucked in, man. I Zombie finished 2019, five seasons, and that was agreed. That wasn't like a surprise cancellation. That was always what we were going to do was right. my, Rob wanted to do five ser series. I get out and I'm like, wow, okay, now I got to figure out what to do. And you were, were you living in London or LA? LA. At the time? LA okay. Yeah. So I was, I was back in LA and I was like, okay, where do I go? What do I do? I started doing pilot season. I'd never done pilot season. Mm -hmm. I booked something on pilot season, but I turned it down um, because I'd, I had a bad feeling about it. And then I was worried because I was like, I booked, but I said no, which means I'm not working. Yeah. So I was kind of terrified. I did or wasn't very good with my money. I'm still not, but I zombie had very little. Everyone left. needs two Lamborghinis. Everyone needs them. Well, I clocked the uh, GMT over there. Okay. Beautiful. I, I clocked the, Beautiful. Uh, the Speedmaster <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah. Um, but September rolled around and I was kind of like, it's done. Yeah. And I got a, an audition for the haunting second season. Just put a tape with my mum. My mum read, funnily enough, with me because she was the only person I could uh, get at that time. And um, within a week, they cast me in Blind Manor. And then day one, working with Mike, I think we did first, a second second day, actually, he looked me up and down and he was like, how old do you think you can play? And I was like, what's going on? And then this kept happening for a few months and we finally took a meeting and he offered me the sheriff. Dude. And then while I'm doing the sheriff, he offered me, he was like, I'm writing this role for you as a sibling in the Usher family. So he just keeps doing it. And then he, he does it to me now. Like he sent me a script a few weeks ago and I just did a movie with him, Life of Child. He's just, that's well, what's we, a bit like that. This is right? like a creative collaboration that you like dream of when you're, oh, yeah. you're starting to get into this field. Oh, a hundred percent. And then like you see like Christopher Nolan working with the same like five, six actors. Yeah. And it makes sense because you have the shorthand, you have, you, you, you know, you work well together. 100%. You know, there's a success rate for it that now is like a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, but we also like, we have, and the, the main thing is, is the, the work's efficient, but we also have fun. Like I know when I showed up, on Life of Chuck, like me and Mike immediately went into like shit talking and having mm -hmm. a laugh and, and it was like a little fun break for a bit because I was at his house two weeks ago and now we're like, it's, it's yeah. we've blended into that relationship where we're, we are 
I, I would consider Mike right now one of my closest friends. Hello. What's going on? Sure. Um, um, that is amazing. Yeah. That is, that is very, that's very, very cool. But he, he does this thing that I, he knows how beneficial it is to me, but like he doesn't cast me in his stuff based on what I've done. He does it on what I haven't. And the industry copies. So when I did iZombie, all I was getting was kind of similar roles. Mm -hmm. And to technically so was Bly Manor. It was similar in that in that respect. Then Mike gives me the sheriff. And then all my castings are like, can you play the stoic man? Mm. I was like, damn, yes, this is how you but do it's, it. But yeah, so watching, sorry, I interrupt you. Continue. No, no, no. It's just, and then again with Usher, it was like, can you play an entitled prick? And then other than the casting. Well, see, that one we all know you can play. Oh, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> that was like. Well, he did write it for me. The guy was like, plays video games, doesn't do anything. Collect, that, I was going to say that Jordans. might be the character that is closest to yeah, you. The hardest one to get into. A hundred percent. But um, that was what I was blown away by, though, because watching, watching Midnight Mass, uh, not Midnight Mass, Miss Midnight Mass, yes. Uh, you're phenomenal on that. Oh, thanks. And that is a show that is very, very, like, builds tension like a lot of shows I have never seen before. And you kind of, you carry it in a way that I was like, I knew you were talented, obviously, because you wouldn't hang out with us if you weren't. Um, <laughs> but seeing you in that role, I was like, fuck, you got leading man-like qualities. You, you can carry a, an entire series like that fairly easily. And that was, uh, that was a point of pride for me. Oh, it was definitely one where I was like, I was like, D, get in here. Come check out Rahul. He's really good. And she was like, wow, he is, he's sexy with that accent. Oh, thank And I was like, okay, get the fuck out of this room. Don't talk to me anymore. She also likes tall people. But then going from that, and and uh, Midnight Mass was good, but I was fucking obsessed with Usher. Usher. Yeah, Usher was fun. And I'm obsessed with it for just... All the reasons why you would think of what what a, what was it fun playing just this shitty? No, actually, you were. It wasn't that you were shitty, but it's like it's weird to have a character that's entitled, but then you also become sympathetic for that character. Yeah, halfway through that episode, I'm like, oh, I hope this fucking. Well, I've never. Mind. It I'm was gonna spoil it for anyone that's seen it. It was it was a weird one because like I, I my my co stars got really nasty lines that were fun, mm -hmm. and like after we they'd do a take of saying something, we'd be like, Phew. and you could see it's it's fun to play a character that mean. But my mo, Mike had said to me, "Charming." Yeah, charming, you weren't a bad guy. Charming, yeah. And then on top of that, I had like you just I was the only one. I was the only one who was mourning their siblings, right? So he, I had a bit more heart. And and do you know what? So like, I sacrificed getting to be a, an asshole and enjoying that for having the audience at least see someone care that the siblings were dying. Yes, which so you I, needed. You did need it. So yes. I kind of took a bit of a hit on that. Like, so I, I didn't get as much. But a lot of my scenes were crying or mourning and doing drugs and being in like a, 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 a kind of mourning druggy state. Yeah. Instead of being able to be like, you know, grab my coffee, suck my... Dick. You know, I can yeah, do... I wasn't that guy. Bit. I didn't get to do that. Now, does uh, it, is it... Was it more fun to wear the stuff in Usher or was it more fun to be like... The stoic cop, the sheriff. Cop, sheriff, hundred percent, hundred percent. God, and it was the it was a bad time to be a cop because you know eh, we had a couple, you know. Yeah, it was that it was that time, um, but well, but I don't think you were that. I mean, you were obviously like you weren't you weren't good at <laughs> pulling people over. No, he wasn't that. He wasn't that. He wasn't that type of <laughs> yeah, cop. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but um, you're one of the no. Uh, the sheriff will always mean the most. I, I grew up with westerns. Yeah, um, Clint Eastwood is. Like my idol and my father's idol and it's been handed down to me and when we were doing mass it wasn't on the page that that fortunately was something that mike allowed me to explore where i was like well you've got the small town sheriff that's all that's that's this one of american cinema's staples gotta have it right you gotta have the small town who, sheriff. who doesn't love the horror setup of the small town. Exactly. And the sheriff has to figure it out. Exactly, right. It's Stephen King novel coming off yeah, the page. Yeah, it's Jaws as well. It's Jaws, you know? yeah, absolutely. But like, uh, you know, it also goes back to like High Noon and all of the Westerns mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. and I was like, well, you've this is brilliant here what you've done because you've got, you've got America's greatest hero, the sheriff, versus America's greatest villain, the brown Muslim with the beard. Yes. Right? We're going to come back And they're us. fused. Yep. Now we 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 the brown bit's done. My parents took care of that. Yeah, you got that knocked out the of the bed. The beard we got. But we can't ignore the other side. So I had said to Mike, like, can I be more Western looking? And this is like a contemporary like it's not So we, we I was like, Can I have a silhouette of the Wild West? So the costume designer worked, we worked together and we 
came up with this denim look. Love the denim. But I'm wearing cowboy boots underneath mm. the costume, so I still have that like calf silhouette. So we gave hints of that look with the denim and that kind of cowboy look, um, and it was my favorite costume ever. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. God, and when we that. wrapped, it's the only costume I took home. Because, you got the boots? You still got the boots? Yeah, I got the boots. The only reason I took, <laughs> you know, so, so I was in a bubble boy and um, uh, I would FaceTime Alana from set. Mm -hmm. And any time I'd FaceTime her, I was in the costume. Yeah. Like, oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's the only costume. She was like, she, she, we should take that. You should yeah, take that. And I was like, working, yeah, I'll bring it. Working. 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 Nothing happened. Still in a suitcase. Uh, you got to put it, you got to put it on for Halloween. I can't fit in it. Really? No, I'm too fat. Oh my I've God. never been skinny enough to get back into that suit. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's so cool, man. But uh, should we pull a to topic? Yeah, you want to pull another topic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pull it's another more topic. interesting than... Uh, no, you are the most interesting thing in my life. <laughs> oh, perfect. We got good time. That's a good I had my, a good I, had my, I had my sub. I, I didn't know. We could have been... Uh, we could have been buddies? Yeah, we could have been buddies. Well, what, do you, what do you got? What'd you pull? I can't see it. That says Dune 2. Oh. Have you watched Dune 2? I have. What'd you think? It was ruined for me. That's a bummer. Yeah. Can I explain to you? I, it was ruined for me as well, but we'll, I, I want to hear your story first. I watched a TikTok the night before. Don't do that. And it was... Why are, you, why are you being Snowbike Mike? <laughs> Snowbike Mike watched Spider-Man Homecoming on TikTok oh, 15 in, in parts. He's like, Slappy. No, no, no. Why is everyone crying, Slappy? <laughs> you watched the end first, Mike. I watched a TikTok that said that the main theme sounds like Cartman singing mm -hmm. all day... <laughs> All day donut? No. All day. Oh my god, what is it? It once you hear it, it, it you can't unhear it. It sounds like Cartman. Someone in chat will, will know what I'm talking about. All day something. Um Cookie Show. All day cookie cookie show. Is that a song? All day cookie dough. That's it. All day cookie dough. Once you hear that clip. Kevin, can we pull this up? Is yeah. it possible to hear this clip? You, you will only hear All Day Cookie Dough as Cartman. And because that song plays every seven seconds. Every five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I kept giggling and it tore me out. It was the worst TikTok oh, to see. That's the worst, dude. Because it's so on. I'm going to ruin it for, for everyone. No, they're going to. They're fine. They, they've seen it all by now. Let's see all if we can Day hear Cookie Dough. It, Hold on. And this is the thing. Let's thing. see if we can oh, hear can this. you guys hear this, Samson? Look at Greg Browser. out there at the premiere Let's do... for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Greg lives a My of life. My Ghostbusters co-star. Wait, who was your Ghostbusters? Greg, we did Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed together. Oh, right. Thank you. Sorry, I thought you meant someone. Was... Hold on one second. Place. I need to set up the audio. Oh, he's following me. Kevin's following you on TikTok? This might be the kind of funny account. Everyone should go follow you, though. Nah, I don't really do it. I, I, I am. I a boomer. Are you more on Instagram or TikTok? Oh, why is this Instagram. muted? Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's muted. It's muted, it's muted down there at the bottom, Big Cat. Get ready to ruin the movie. Can you guys hear it? <laughs> yeah, I can it's, hear it, but it's really funny. It's probably hella loud for them, but I can hear it. No, it's, it's I'm not hella loud, but yeah. Yeah, that's... Yep, all that's going to ruin all it day. for me. And then that, so then as soon as the credits started and it happened and I giggled, I was like, oh, no. I can't, and I told Alana it, and she got pulled out of the oh, experience too. You can't do that. It I, looked uh, good. Oh, that's true. Austin Butler's, uh, I love him. He, you know, here's the thing about that guy. You know me, I'm not one for holding back my opinions on people. Mm -hmm. Saw the Elvis movie, was like, don't like it. Oh, really? You're didn't insane. like it. It's didn't like it. Movie. Did you like him? Couldn't get couldn't get 15 minutes into the movie. Oh, I loved him in it. So I was so good. Wrote him off completely. Yeah. Because if, as you know, if I don't like something and I'm a tastemaker, I'm I'm like this guy's <laughs> never gonna come back up. And I'm a Baz Luhrmann fan. Yeah. It was just too much. It was 120 percent Baz Luhrmann. Okay. And I was like, I needed you to an 80 Baz, an 80. Okay. Huge Moulin Rouge fan. Same. Loved loved uh, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Come on, grew up on that shit. Love me, love me. Say that you love me. So I was disappointed. This is my disappointment with me, not with him. I was like, something's changed in me that I need to go look at in therapy. So I hear that he's in Dune too, and I was like, nah, I'll see what happens. Stole the show. I think he's fucking phenomenal. He's incredible. That accent that he does sounds like St Stellan. Yeah, it's in. It's, That's hard. 
Yeah. Like, you got to work with a dialogue coach for a while for that one. Because that Stellan Skarsgård accent is that weird-ass, like, Swedish. I, shar, yeah, rah, 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 plus like, the kind of pirate Whatever the hell he's doing. Rabble, yeah. He's phenomenal. So everyone was phenomenal in this. I mean, you I loved about Javier cast. Bardem. I would say Fucking Austin phenomenal. stole it, but Javier was so good for me. And I, I'm obsessed with, with Bardem and everything he's in. I, His little comedic bits, I thought, were just so good. Here's the yeah. deal about yeah. Javier. And I agree with you. He's amazing. If you just put him down on paper. But if I could go back in time and have him never do No Country for Old Men, because now that movie traumatized me, and every time I see Javier Bardem, so I see the bowl cut, and I see him fucking cattle prod, like yeah, yeah. people's heads, and that movie's terrifying. Yeah. It's Cormac McCarthy, right? Shit that's like, this happens, and this is the evil of man, and you'll never be able well, to you've seen, about it. Well, you've seen the thing where like it, it, they'll always have like studies have shown or, or therapists have looked at it, and that is the closest psychopath sociopath ever captured like performance wise if you want to know what a what a what a psychopath is watch no That's country right he's, he's 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 bottled it up and then you work you you watch him in other stuff like vicky christina barcelona yeah he's the most charming spanish Incredibly dude. charming yeah it's gorgeous yeah and then you see him in like i think he's one of my favorite bond villains ever he was great in bond right can we talk about Bond for a second? Have you heard the newest uh, that casting is, grumble? That he has been my vote for Bond for a very long time. Talking about Aaron Taylor? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Aaron Taylor Johnson. I think he's the future. Really? Yep. He... I want him. I'd love Nolan to have a stab at it. because That'd be amazing. Nolan, but if, a few years back, I would have loved a Nolan, Murph, Killian Murphy pairing. Mm -hmm. Or Nolan, Fassbender. Fassbender would have been a badass Bond. But I think that's that might have passed. You always need to cast in your 30s for Bond. Yeah. And I think, um, see, to me, if you would asked me five years ago, six years ago about Aaron Taylor Johnson, I'd like he's too young. If he skews too young. He feels too young to me. But then now, you see Bullet Train. Then you see, then you see Bullet Train. Yep. And you go, hmm. That's a man. That motherfucker's suave. He's ripped. He's jacked out of his gourd. Yeah. Great he's head of hair. Fantastic actor. Good actor. Um, has the accent. Yep. Very important. Yep. He's tall. I don't hate tall. it. I don't oh, I think it. he's. I think he's a fantastic. It reminds person. me a lot of when they were like Ben Affleck's going to be Batman. I'm like, you know what? I don't hate it. This could be cool. This could be fun. And we all know how that 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 played out. Don't I have my. Who do you have your, as your vote for a James Gunn Batman? I have mine. Oh, I don't know that I thought about it. Who do Who do you think? He's a bit. Well, okay. So. He's in his forties. Okay. But I just want to see Alan uh, uh, from Rich, Rich, uh, Alan uh, Rich Richardson. He would have been my vote. Yes. Jesus. He's so big. You know why? Yeah, that's why I want him yeah. bursting out of that suit. Here, here's the thing about him. Did you ever watch Blue Mountain State? No. Okay. It is one of those shows that definitely did not age well. But it is. <laughs> I mean, just throw it out there. It is a show that was made in the early aughts, if not the 2010 ish, uh, about a uh, the best college football team oh, in America. Okay. So you can imagine all the fun they get into as far as all that's concerned. Mm -hmm. But he plays a character called Thad Castle, who's like the star receiver. And he's like the captain of the team. Yeah. And he's just a fucking asshole to everyone. But his comedy in that right. is pitch perfect for the show. And it's one of those things where, you know, these, there's all these actors that look the part of like the leading man, good, tall, sexy fit. And then you, and then they do that, the one bit of comedy and you're like, oh, you're a comedic actor. Yeah, and sure. And you're trying to hide that from everyone. Yeah, yeah. Because Alan Richardson is so jacked out of his gore well, that he like could Brad be the Pitt action. Has that, Brad Pitt Brad Pitt that. can deliver. John Hamm. Comedic guy, yeah, he's a yeah, comic. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see sure. all these, all these, all these low key uh, uh, hidden comics in here, and he's got the chops to do anything. But Jack Reacher, he's now he's now trying to do Jack Reacher, and he did he did the Fast and Furious, and yeah, and, and it, oh, so I think all, I think the product of all of. So I know Alan, I know of Alan because we have a mutual, which is Malcolm Goodwin, who okay. my best yeah. friend on I Zombie yep. was was then Finn, I believe he was in uh, yeah season season one one yeah and he was great and a bit he would come back in it. What's that? He came back in the second. He did. He did. Yeah. 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 Um, so I, I, I threw Malcolm. Malcolm adores him. Um, through Malcolm, I hear about what Alan's about and stuff. Dude, and he, I mean, he after the season one came out, I, I apparently like Alan had like sixty scripts of his picking. Like everyone I, like, in our being our movie. I loved season one of Jack Reacher. Oh really? Again, because you're talking small town sheriff. Yeah. Setup. Season two got kind of wider Bigger, yeah and it, it lost me a little bit toward the I, I finished it it was enjoyable but it lost me a little bit but the first season was really really good and i'll but i'll tell you what he was fucking huge yeah in season one season two i was like bro oh really what Haven't did seen. you do he is so big he's my pick i want to write Sheesh. i i don't believe Shit. it's been cracked i in my heart of hearts i believe there is a way to make a doom movie work a doom 
Doom. 100%. I want to have a stab at it. I will consult my friends who are much more talented than mm -hmm. me, like Flanagan to help yep. me out. And I would cast pick. Alan as Doom Guy slash yeah. Doom Slayer. That is... Dude, Space Marine. Again, you can go, that's what I'm saying with Alan. You can go either way with it. If you want to go hardcore horror sci-fi, you could. If yeah. you want to go like Evil Dead, uh, Army of Darkness sci-fi level, bit Bruce Campbell. he can do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 for sure. He's got the comedic chops. Yeah, yeah. See, I think I think that would be an incredible property to bring to screen right now. Because the last time they did it was before um, people in Hollywood understood what a video game was. So, well, there was another one. Was there? Because I remember the Dwayne the Rock Johnson and uh, nah, yeah, there, there was a second one, Doom of. something Infernal. And I don't know, but it went under the table. Ah, oh, I just remember the one with Carl Urban, and I was like, I yeah. love Carl Urban. This movie's not good enough for him. Yeah, and the Rock was, the Rock was the Rock back then. That was before he was Dwayne Johnson, gotcha. the Empire that we know now. Yeah, it's incredible. I saw that movie in theaters. Oh, did you? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I saw everything in I mean, it's Doom, like, right? Yeah, I was like, like Doom is going to be great. And I got to the middle of it, I was like, oh, no. I mean, you you remember, <laughs> I, I remember it like it was yesterday, like 93, when, when Doom hit. Dude. It was... We used to play Doom in... Well, we played Wolfenstein 3D, which was the predecessor to that. Yeah. And I remember my, um, my high school, or my junior high band director, Mr. Usher, bringing it back, um, no relation to House of Usher. <laughs> <laughs> was like, hey guys, I'm gonna give you all this back, game. It's dude. great, and he gave it to me on like six discs. And then from that point on, we all just traded. We when we got Doom, it came on like five or six floppy. Oh, discs. the floppy disc, yeah, yeah. And then we used to play it in our computer lab at school before they were like, they, before somebody finally, because this is when like the person that ran the computer lab didn't know anything about computers because yeah. they were so new. And so my buddy Jeff was like, dude, don't worry about this, and just loaded it on everyone's <laughs> shit. And we could play like 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 land against each other. I'm like, yeah. this is the coolest thing ever. Did my uncle told me that. Uh, when he worked at, uh, in an office, they'd after work as soon as it locked down and everyone went home, they'd stay back. Everyone would load up MS DOS, yep. land it on Doom, and just it stay in the office so... at night time. And I was like, "This is so cool!" Like, dude, we used to do LAN parties. I used to bring my my Dell PC over to my friend's house, and he would just hook them all up, and we would just stay up all night mainlining like Mountain Dew oh. and just playing. Well, we, uh, I'm. Best man for a friend of all of ours is getting married this year. Does he want to do a land party? You can do it here. Well, that's what I'm thinking to do for that. <laughs> That'd be so party. funny. Yeah. That would be so uh, we're fun. We're going to do a big land, destiny land party or something. We're thinking something along those lines. Are you playing Helldivers and all? I am. Yeah. Bruce plays a lot. Uh, it's good, but I'm I'm in the middle of other stuff. Okay. Other games, other games. Other games. I get it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm currently chipping away at all the Yarkuses. Oh, yeah. I'm That's on, fun. Yeah, so Mike on, loves the Yakuza games. Ick. I just Ick. finished Yakuza Four. You're on the move. Uh, now I got the You're big on the move, one. Says. I got the <laughs> big one to go. But um, Yakuza has become my obsession for the last few years. But um, when Hell Divers came out, just as it hit, I was in that. I couldn't focus on anything else. I had to keep on with with Yakuza. And then when I finished that. I loaded up Final Fantasy Rebirth. Mm. So Helldivers keeps taking yeah, uh, I mean, back it, seat for me. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. If you're a Final Fantasy fan as well, I mean, Tim was obsessed with that. Mike was obsessed with it. We did a long ass stream. Yeah. Too. I played it for 10 minutes. I'm like, nah. One of my favorite games last year was, was Ben's Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, people like that too. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. But um, yeah. yeah. How long do you do this for? You know, that's, that's a good question. How long have I been going for? You're probably round it out now. What do you think, Mikey? Is it a Mako freak out? You know what I mean? The question is, <laughs> is Cloud <laughs> in a vat of Mako and he's going to wake up and just do this and it was all a dream? And then you go back to the original story. Yeah, because like it's my first time ever playing, right? And okay. so I played Remake. And yeah. We've gone into Rebirth. And there's these signs that are like, is this even real? Is Sethiroth real? Is freaking Zack real? Who's real in this? Tifa's real. She is real. But you know who's even more real, though? Don't say Aerith. Jesse. Oh, really? Come on, bro. I'll, I'll do you it want for you. First date on the back of a motorcycle to go steal some Shinra equipment? Pretty badass to me. Take you to your mom's house, get you some pizza. I, am, I cannot see anyone on screen when Tifa's on screen. I'm not paying attention to any other character. I have legit a video game crush. I've never had that. Before. On Tifa? I love yeah. it. I mean, the closest was like when I was younger was Chun Li. Well, I mean, okay. no, everyone, everyone, but, yeah. Tifa. So you like that? Interesting, because I'm an Aerith and Cloud guy, but now that I've been introduced to Zach, I guess it's like, okay, oh, well, yeah. then that's not how it's going down, but like, 
don't know. There's something about that Tifa Cloud relationship where it's like, oh, these are two just like best friends growing up, and I don't see them. But you can romance them now. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, but it's just like he's just so you. he's so aloof with the girls. I, I don't you know want. What I mean, like he doesn't want it. He doesn't care about either one. Like he loves both of them and cares, but like he doesn't seem to like want that. You know what I mean? He's he's got his mind on something else. Sure. You know what I mean? I've not played Rebirth yet. Okay. Um, I've only done remake, but I'm I don't know what I want to do because I knew that you could romance. Uh, in, heard, in, yeah, I haven't made it to that point. Yet. I haven't. Yeah, I can't decide as a Tifa stan if I want to romance her, and then I could see what it's like okay. to get lines of dialogue when she's in love. Yeah, and flirt with her. I like that. Or. I like her so much, I don't want anyone hooking up with her. Yeah, I love this. That's yeah, the yeah, real I man's way. go with Aerith. Okay, okay. I haven't made my decision yet. So what about this cat person? What you cat person? I mean? When they drop the plate, there's a cat. There's a Pokemon cat. Mm -hmm. They call him Kate Sith or something like that. You ever seen this cat? You know about no. this cat? I don't know anything about hey, this have cat. Have you played the 7 before? 7 Remake. Only Remake? Yeah. You so, finished it? Yeah. So at During the very end... No, it, it, it's more towards the middle. When the president of Shinra drops the plate on Sector 7, they have all the sense yes. of like, the different people reacting, yeah. and out of nowhere, there's this Meowth-looking purple cat that comes out and is like, no, and puts his hand oh, down on the thing. That does sound familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, this was like 2020, right? We, yeah. Uh, yes. Supposedly, years. it's a jabroni part of the crew. Like, he's going to be part of the crew. He or she, right. I don't know okay. what this cat is. Th yeah, he'll bring it. This thing. Yeah. I hate have it. yet to meet it. I hate no. It. But it does look familiar, for sure. How about Red 13? What do you feel about that lion? I thought it broke my immersion for a second. Okay, that's what that did to me. I was me. like, talking animals is yeah. we're doing it. But it's in 7, right? Red Red 13. Uh -huh. really yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I prefer my games to not have talking animals. Okay, okay. In general, but... Yeah, once we got that cat, then I was like, oh, th we're going to get weird with it. You yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, so yeah, for then sure. Then once I got to the lion, the talking lion, I was like, okay, whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's part of the crew now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's all... an experimental, he's an experiment, right? Yeah, Hojo experimented on him, right. and then yeah, that's what came out. I have a theory that it's Johnny, um, but I don't. He, he makes know, people. Names I'm, 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 no, no, Johnny's his actual Johnny? name. Oh, really? Johnny was the homie that tried to save Tifa at the wall market, and he has like the really cool beard. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it looks like a claw. Yeah, so that's why I linked those two together. It's like ah, right. he, but they he got both exist at the same. You're going a little too far off, Kevin. I'm right here. Don't worry about it. I'm going to plant, stay planted. Are you telling me? I'm, I'm I'm staying planted. He's staying planted. Today, planted Don't worry about planted. it. Again. Um, yeah, so I'm all about it. I'm so lost in this right now. I played Kingdom Hearts and then I played Final Fantasy. And I'm just having so much. Oh, fun so you're in really in the, the yeah. I'm just. I mean, square. I'm getting lost. Yeah. You know, I'm trying at least. You know, you got to try one. Where time Where are you on the Arkansas? Like, Oh my god! Oh, I put ten hours into the latest Shockers of Like a Dragon two, yeah. and all I want to do is go back to it. But we keep moving on to games, so it, this might. So be you my were, the last thing was you were messing with Infinite Wealth. Yeah. Oh man, Ichiban's the dude, bro. I've not got to those. You're gonna love that. I love him so Have much. Have you done Ishin? No. Uh, I started it. I liked where it was. Have I you, thought the time period. Have piece you got was my cool. card? No, you're in it. The Raul Coley card. Really, Kevin. Would you mind pulling up the Royal Coley Yakuza uh, Like a Dragon Ishin card, please? Amazing. Trooper card. This is my biggest flex. I don't care I about this flex. any of the shows. Nothing you've done is better. I'm a, I'm a Warhammer. I'm a, I'm a Space Marine and Warhammer. Yeah. But Who cares? But my name in that's Malam Kaido. Uh, Kaido. Mm -hmm. But in Yakuza, or Like a Dragon, uh, There it is. You just got a picture of it. Uh, yeah, give me a second. There, there you go. Yeah. Is it this? Yeah. Well, don't put Kenny Omega's picture well, there. Well, that's what Google brings me. The other one, that's what Google brings like... me. That's amazing. Yo, how cool, man. My own name. I've never been a, like a pop culture reference. That's when you know you've crested. That's, ins that's how them. cool. It's insane. Now right? you get to just be paid to be you. But I've not played it yet. Because I'm. It's, you're on it's, your way. Well, you're on your list. Path. you got a long path. you got a long path. But, um... But yeah, they they did that, and it's I'm, my favorite thing ever. I think Nick would love <laughs> these games with just how absurd and fun they are, but also like you know, just the, I the kind this. of vibe of it. I think Nick would really like. I got to play a Yakuza game, and I got to play a Pokemon game one of these days. Yeah, I'm gonna make him play a Pokemon game. As well. <laughs> never play, we're gonna never do a one. Lock, if you take if you play fun. Pokemon, mm -hmm. take some tea. Okay. If you play Push Yakuza, it. it's too much tea. 
Ah. Don't be doing tea. I won't do the, I'll, that. I'll, that'll be my day, my, my off cycle. Yes. And I cycle off that. <laughs> and I start to do the test. Yeah. Mike, we're going to round this out with you pull one final topic, and then we're going to let our, uh, our friend go, and we're going to go talk about this other project that he's doing that I'm not supposed to talk about. Oh, yeah. And this is the perfect one to have for you. Tifa? Should Tim have a mullet? Should Tim have a mullet? Okay, here we are. Here we are. On the precipice of Roadhouse. And of course, the oh. new Roadhouse with Jake G, he's not going to have a mullet. He's not like rocking our the boy mullet. boy P. Swayze did. He doesn't have the waterfall. Okay, but mm. the question is, is <coughs> should Tim Gettys have a mullet? Now, here's where this stems from, right? Me, Greg, and Tim all look like different iterations of the same character same creator. Same we just some of us taller, some of us are older, some of us has left hair, but we're just the same dude. So yeah. I just think to myself, that's like me and Andy. This is exactly like you would. <laughs> In fact, we're for the, the time, same thing. Now that you say that, writers. I thought I was talking to Andy for the last few minutes. <laughs> so Tim has incredible hair, and when he lets it grow out, it gets really like curly and fluffy. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm thinking, should he have the Kurt Russell Big Trouble in Little China mullet? Mm. Only, only mm. if he commits to a mustache. Oh, he can oh, do it. Oh, okay. Right? To so compliment if, it. Yeah. He has kind of if a creepy Tim, mustache. If, yeah, if Tim c- commits to the mustache, mm-hmm. then the mullet, I think that is the, the, the perfect. Oh, wow. I think he'll look fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. We got our marching order. I got a right lot now. of great mullets in my life right now. Can I talk about them first? Sure, let's do it. Been introduced. We've been watching <laughs> WWE uh, WrestleMania in review mm-hmm. we've been doing, right? Mm-hmm. And so we've been going back in time. And for some reason, we've been going backwards a lot. Okay. We went back to the early 90s, 1995. Jeff Jarrett versus Razor Ramon. I've never seen Razor, Mar- R- the Razor Ramon guy. before. Yeah. yeah. And that guy got a killer mullet. Killer mullet. Let me tell you what. It's greasy and kind of wet. And it's got those long curls in the back where you yeah. want it to yeah. be. Yes. And it was like, man, this guy's got to look to who's, it. Who's the best mullet in film? Who's the best, the best mullet, mullet in film? Me? Swayze had a great mullet. If you're talking just a straight up actor, though, I got to give it to Kurt Russell because he's had the mullet for approximately 40 years. He still has the mullet. Does he? he his hair's super long right now. Oh yeah, I saw it's not like mullety. G- he's doing like GQ breaking yeah, down. Yeah, he's got like. But if you go back, uh, uh, Kevin, can you Google Kurt Russell Tango and Cash? I'm going to give it to yeah, also, Dolph Lundgren in Masters of the Universe. That was a good. That was or a strong mullet. You and McGregor in Attack of the Clones. That also a good mullet. Ooh, he also, had a, he ooh, had a mullet. Jesus mullet. He had. That's true. I'm not. I'm not going to. say I'll say those all go on the top ten mullet lists. But Kurt Russell, Russell, yeah, right there. Right. Give me this one right there. Is Kev. this a mullet? Or is it just yes, long hair? That's a hundred percent a mullet. Hair. That just looks like long hair. No, because I'm it's, got, you, it's Kev, short in the front. Look at. Okay, the one right there is in the white shirt. Right there. That's what. What is the? That looks like the, Patrick Swayze and Ghost. What's the definition of a mullet? Longer in the back than it is. No, up no. Front. What? What's? What's the fun way of describing it? Oh. Uh, Business, business up front, in front, party in the back. In the back. And does that guy have business up front, party in the back? Yeah. Next to you? Yeah. Hell yeah, it does. He does. I feel like he has party at the front. All right, go Big Trouble, but Little China. Big Trouble, Little China, then. Give me that one. So, Kurt Russell, Big Trouble, Little China. You just got to, you got to, yeah, okay. you got to type it in right there. Oh, Solid Snake. I mean, you mean Snake Bookskin? Yeah. Uh, well, That's yeah, kind of the same haircut part, he had in there. In Sons of Liberty, he's all mulleted up, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's got a proper mullet. Oh, he's got the mullet. Yeah, for sure. Let's, but he's we'll doing, he's doing Pliskid, right? Escape from. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that's that's the thing I think about. That's, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. That's right there. What. Yeah, look at the That's it. Now, that. Tim could have that right there. Easy peasy, fresh and squeezy. And he's already got the blue eyes. He does indeed. Has Put a little got, lipstick uh, on him. Has he Done. got a, um, what do you guys call it? Tank? Tank top? You guys have a tank top. Tim? Yeah. He's got multiple things. He just can't yeah. go out in the sun and get sunburned. <laughs> so easily. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this week's episode, bonus episode of the Kind of Funny Podcast. Shout Whoa. out to all of our wonderful guests that have come through, but none better than Rahul Coley. Thank yeah. you so much for, ra- for telling home. Tam and Lucy. Uh, they know, they know. <laughs> they're not going to pay attention to anything I do here. They know we're all full of shenanigans. This has been a fun one, ladies and gentlemen. If you joined us live, thank you so much for all of your comments and rocking with us the entire time. Hey, if you're listening to this on podcast services, consider backing us over there on YouTube or Patreon with a membership. You get all sorts of cool perks over there. Uh, and yeah, guys, this has been a fun one. We'll see you next week. I love you. Bye. Thanks, Nick. <laughs>